Ah, uh, everything's going off at once. That's not ideal. Well then. Yeah, I know. Thank you very much. Hello, everybody, and welcome to... Can you hear me? No. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Film Talk on Phantom. I'd left the mics muted on you the radio. Had. Yeah. Um, But, hypothetically, uh, let's click that. We are streaming now. We exist. We exist. We're going to be on like a 20 second delay. Understandable. That's usually the way, isn't it? For YouTube specifically. Yeah. But we should be live. Um, so hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the first uh, audiovisual episode. Theoretically. Hypothetically. Um, of Phantom... No, not Phantom Radio. Phantom Radio have done it before. Yeah, they have. Of Film Talk on Phantom. Yeah. Um, with me, Owen. And me, Ethan. Good. Um, yeah. This has been a surprisingly good start to the episode. Give it time. <laughs> given given how bad last week's went. Um, yes. Hello, everyone. If you are new here, uh, this is Film Talk. We talk about films. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh First things first, though, as per, how have you been doing, Ethan? <laughs> um, it's just been it's just been a lot. It's just a lot because the education is ending, yeah, and I have to do the stepping into the real life bit. And, yeah, you know, there's the house, the housing, and the working, and yeah, yeah. all of those things that I just don't want to don't want to do. I want to hide in education, but yeah. I'm physically running out of time now, so yeah. I actually You've, have to be an adult. The only thing you'd be able to do is get a job at a university or school yeah um, or take up doing a phd yeah. if anyone wants to fund that that'd be great <laughs> thanks um have you by the way did you find that house like did you get that house that you were... i did put uh, i did put a thing in i've got to fill out some forms now so nice that's where i'm at with that um yeah nice good how have you been because you've been very busy the last couple I of have. weeks um yeah last week was postponed was that because of a staff meeting? I don't know. It you were the one who was really busy. Yeah. Because we had a couple of weeks back to back where both of us were yeah, just not Yeah, which is not available. was not going to happen kind of thing. Um, but we're back in our Monday slot now. We're back running things as they should be run. Um, can, we, can we get a check to our assistant in Studio 2? Uh, we're, we'll turn you up, actually. Oh, God. That's an awful sound. It squeaks, doesn't it? It squeaks so badly. Um, can we get a check that we are actually streaming on YouTube? Yeah, you are. Oh, okay, cool. Perfect. Bye. Bye. Oh, that's an awful sound. The squeaking's not nice. No, noise. Don't be rude. Yap, yap, yap. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. Um... But yeah, we're we're back at it. We're we're gonna try some new things. Uh, if you're watching us on YouTube, um, hello, we'll wave at you now. Um, we might be able to give you some bonus content. Um, yes. Hypo- hypothetically, if we play music on the radio, we can still talk to you, and you can't hear the music that we're playing. Um, theoretically. Theoretically, it might not work that way. It might just mute everything. Oh, well, and you'll just be able to see us. You just have a break. Yeah, exactly. Um, but I've I've lined up some stuff for that. Cool. So we're going to kick it off with a song, maybe? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, we're going to kick it off with a bit of Five Seconds of Summer. Uh, that's a bit of a downer of a song. Um, for reference, I've got, I've got all the music up here in front of me. And I've got the search over here. So if you ever see me looking over here like this, it's because I'm trying to search something on the computer uh five seconds of summer because oh, you want to how have i how have i spelt that wrong i've i've put in one word and i've spelt it wrong um is it the number five <laughs> <laughs> no it was seconds i'd switched around the c and the o um there we go we'll put that there i think yeah there we nice. go. That's a good song. It's a good song. It's a... 2014? Oh. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Oh my god. 10 years. Oh no. Yeah, makes you feel old. Yeah, it does. 
Anyway, oh, I forgot to put the p- play button on this. Anyway, um, here is She Looks So Perfect by Five Seconds of Summer. And potentially you won't be able to hear this on YouTube and you'll just still be able to hear us speaking. Let's give it a try. Okay, we've got to take our headphones off for this bit because okay. the music is just going to keep playing through them. Uh huh. But hypothetically, we are still we streaming. are still streaming on YouTube as we should be. Um, Let's do a check we'll go, in yeah, with we'll the go assistant over to again. Studio two. We apologize about the humming. Um, I will probably be able to work that out at some point. We are. Still, we are still streaming. We're still streaming. Yeah, fantastic. You can hear us speaking now over the music no and everything. Music. There's no, no music. music. Cool. Perfect. Excellent. Good to know. Um, that's we, the use of yeah. having. So it means that everyone who's in, watching us on YouTube gets a gets a little bit of a, a bonus extra content. content. Yeah. Um, we're we're only going to go for the one song, so we're only here for about two minutes. Yes. Um, but I I I need to tell people about something. Okay. Um. Because it'd been re- it, I meant to talk about it on last week's thing because it really affected me last week. Okay. And it's taxis. I hate it. I hate when you get in a taxi and the guy just starts speaking to you. <laughs> and it's like I, like, I clearly don't, like, it's when you get into a taxi and you're clearly, like, not there for the conversation, you know? Yeah. You are there to get from point A to, to point, point B. B in the, like, that's it. Um... And then they just start speaking to you, and you've got to go, yeah, I'm off to uni, See, I, I'm in my third year, blah, 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 I've blah, got the re- blah, reverse opposite stuff. problem to you. I don't want to speak to them when they get in the taxi, and most of my taxi drivers don't initiate a conversation with me, but I don't know what it is. Something in my brain has to ask them how their evening has been. Yeah. Why? Why? I don't want to I, talk to them, but my brain goes, oh, how has it been? I'm like, I don't, yeah. I don't need to talk to these people. They just want to do their job. I've just clocked that we can still hear you. Bye. Um, <laughs> anyway, I've also just clocked that we're not able to... It's not a good idea for us to try and converse within there. But By the way, over there is Studio 2. Uh, we've just got a friend of ours sat in Studio 2 making sure that certain things are working. Yes. Um, and we can't actually hear them. Through all of this bit that we're doing now, yeah. we can't hear what they're saying. We can only hear what they're saying when we put our headphones on, which at the moment are being filled with music. Yeah, and I quite uh, enjoy the multitasking. So oh, I can't stand it, mate. It's awful. It doesn't bother you. me, but it also means I can keep track of how far we're going. Yeah, which yeah, is also we've got thirty for seconds us. left before we go back live. But like, I can understand asking a taxi driver, "Oh, how's it been?" and then just like a short answer, "Oh, yeah, it's been." No, but they don't. Quite, they, never do. they never do. It's always five minutes of yeah. And I'm like, I'm not after that with my taxi drive. I just want to get to uni or to get home. I frequently get in with headphones and they'll, that's when they yeah. talk. I'm like, what? Why? Why? Anyway, we have five seconds and we're back. Yes. We are back. We are back. Look at that. Um, I need to undim that so I can hear everything again. Uh, hello. Welcome back to Film Talk. Um... For those of you watching YouTube, we're now going to end that conversation um, because the people on radio only, they miss out. They miss out if, like, just just get on our YouTube, you know? Um, tune in over there. Uh, you'll get to see our mediocre faces. We are um, better for radio. Yeah. We're, we're definitely both built for radio. Definitely. Um, but yeah. We're going to jump into some news. I do have some news. You, you've got some news. Um, so pick pick the least interesting one first is my is my that's my choice this week. You want you want the least the interesting. least interesting piece of news that you've found. Okay. And this is entirely subjective to who you th- to who I am as a person and what you think I'll find least interesting. I mean, the fact that um, we've had another trailer for If with Ryan Reynolds, um, the idea of trying to connect children to their imaginary friends. 
yeah is probably the least interesting because we've seen the f um trailers before yeah i don't know if it's something you've you've managed to catch i'm i'm interested in it like i'm gonna go see it um because it's like john krasinski and ryan reynolds you know (laughs) um but honestly second trailers and third trailers kind of a bit of a nothing for me these days i mean i like a first look trailer especially if it's a big film i'm like give me give me a little bit i'm after this is this is what i want for my advertising when i'm like going to see a film or whatever i want teaser trailer as soon like as soon as they finish um principal photography teaser trailer that can be a sit down with the director you get some clips from the film and it's an interview or it can be like the deadpool and wolverine teaser trailer where it's like just a short trailer yeah and then few like like a month or so before the release of the film i want a trailer one which is like a two and a half minute snippet of the, like not snippet of the film as in like they've just taken a scene but like a standard trailer and at most after that like scenes a, a couple scenes from act one um but like for that go on like talk shows and stuff it's so like when actors go on graham norton and they just go here's 30 seconds out of yeah. this film that the, the I actor don't mind, will be like poster reveals or for first looks when yeah. you get your photography done when because they did it for the Spider-Man films, I think. They were like, look, here is some photos of Tom Holland asleep in places. And that was great. Um, and you ended up with, like, some of the posters were, they released for Deadpool. Is it Deadpool versus Wolverine? Or is it Deadpool and Wolverine? I think Wolverine? it's and. Um, I'll, I'll Google it to be yeah, precise. Do double check, because I can't. I feel like it's and, but I'm not actually sure. Deadpool and. And Wolverine. Yeah. Um, but the fact that they released the posters for those it was like you knew immediately what was going to happen yeah like who we were going to see because of the posters but it wasn't like too much yeah, 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 yeah i get you entirely but there's only so many trailers i need to see before i'm actually watching the film like yeah like batman v Super- not to oh <laughs> there we go fantastic you're welcome every everyone. week on air <laughs> every single week you burp on air yeah you're you're welcome everyone um it's not to just keep it on comic book movies but batman v superman had brilliant marketing until it didn't you know until they went okay we're just going to reveal the whole film in a trailer you may as well have just given them the film that's the thing like i'm really happy like they did really well and then they went okay also doomsday is going to be in this film and then everyone went oh right well that's that's that film sorted. We know exactly what's going to play out. It's going to be their butting heads for a bit because, like, some sort of ideological difference. And then, some like, someone, probably Lex Luthor, is going to create uh, Doomsday and they've got to team up and reconcile their differences to fight Doomsday. Yeah. Oh, and the film came out and it's exactly that. And also Wonder Woman is there. Which and is also also, re- woman is there. also in the trailer as well. Her big like entrance is in the trailer, and it's like, well, what? Why is it such a big thing in the film if everyone's seen it in the trailer? Yeah, like they need to go back to like that old style of movies or the old style of trailers where they'd literally like like Predator, you know, where it's just sort of like in a world and there's this <laughs> dude in a forest. And there's an alien there. One guy at one time this summer. And like, yeah, exactly. That's it. <laughs> like, you just need to leave it there. Because, like, they still do that, but they just do it with, like, title cards in the thing. Just have it be spoken and make your trailer so much simpler. Give voice actors some jobs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> like, the very specific niche of trailer voice actors. There are quite a lot there, of them. There's as quite well. a lot of them, but I'm curious of how much they get out of actually doing trailers rather than adverts like as in like like you you know how there's those furniture stores that are always on sale yes i reckon trailer trailer voiceover guys get loads of work from them <laughs> right but not so much from actual i guess it depends movie trailers. If it depends are you paid 
a one-off for doing the job or are you paid every time it's played like the actors are like uh, depends on their contract yeah you know, exactly, I suppose. Will exactly. Depend. and there'll be some of their voices that can be reused several films in a row and some people that can't and so on and so forth i do have slightly more interesting news though that i think will entertain slash appeal to you slightly more yes yes sorry um we're, we're trying to fix a little bug that we're having uh with the camera uh for studio two um at the same time as doing all of this yeah it's brilliant really um go to properties where is properties on the thing while you're doing that yeah you read out the story please uh paramount has revealed um new the last airbender and other animated movies are in the works which i'm quite excited for i do like a good animated film and i really enjoyed you know the last airbender and the animated series they did for that so it'll be nice that paramount are doing some more um generally animated movies in general are great i Mm. i like to have those um also much to i imagine your entertainment teenage mutant Ninja turtles the last uh, run in live action film is in the works so the guy is doing another one the light you know they did the live action ones the michael bay ones. yeah they're doing another one god no just leave it (laughs) give me another one of the one that's just come out that I've forgotten the name of is like not the 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 into the spider verse looking one yeah you know that one uh it's the newest one new tmnt film this is where yeah teenage Mut- uh mutant mayhem that was it give me another one of them please why is Mr. Beast in that film? I've just seen that on our screen over here. Sorry. It's probably We're like just gonna in show an you advertisement this. or something. Right here. Yeah, I can see him. No, they're seeing it now. Oh, nice. You, yeah. yeah, this is like, we're being fancy about this. Why is Mr. Beast in this film? Well, it says that Times time Square, he's probably on like a billboard or something in the background. It's probably something super stupid. Times Square what? Times Square. Give me more than just Times Square. He's not the embodiment of Times Square, is he? Gee, oh. Um, IMDb top cast, yeah. Um, Mr. B, what's Mr. B? Mr. Beast, Times Square guy. Yeah, it'll just be a voice that they've Why? hired because then they can sell it to younger they, yeah, people. That go, Mr. Beast is yeah. in the film. It's the same as what they do for lots of these things now. Is that they, you know, they get people in. Yeah, and they'll be like, look, this this YouTube is in it. Like, I know Post Malone's in, like, a couple things, because, like, he did music for things, and they're for, yeah. he, like, just shows up kind of thing. Like, he's in Into the Spider-Verse because he did Sunflower for Into the Spider-Verse, so they went, okay, now you're also going to do a voice here. Do a little background cameo, just yeah. to kind of fill out some general chat in the background of a scene or something but like mr beast i I didn't even see anything saying that mr beast was going to be in it yeah but he's not for our circles he'll be for other people you know when they advertise it to our generation it's gonna be very different to how they advertise it to the generation below us they'll be them saying oh yeah seth rogan and jackie chan are in it yeah that's exactly how they would advertise it to us um oh and john cena was in africa why am i not shocked (laughs) like at all um I, I I hate Google for trying to find cast members for things because there's so many buttons that you have to press to finally get the full cast. Members. What was that? That was my phone picking up the fact that I said Google um, and assuming that I wanted to talk to it. Oh God. I've got mine disabled, so I don't have that problem. That's fair. Uh, yeah. But that me covers all of our... All of, all of the news that I'm personally interested in. Yeah. I'm interested that they're doing another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles films. Because those made up my childhood. Yeah. Love me some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I had cartoons. I, I remember watching live action films, though, and being kind of confused by them, but... Yeah. Um... I'm trying to work out how this is going to work. Oh, I know how this is going to work. Oh, will that work? I don't know. Who knows? Let's find out. If more. I go like that, what can you hear? You. Oh, good. Uh, it's questionable whether what we want to do in the next segment is going to work, but it might. We'll find out. We will find out, exactly. So, 
Um, we're going to step away for another song now. Um, if you'd like to see our reaction, yeah, I know we're a react channel now. Mm, okay, um, great. <laughs> to the new Joker 2 trailer, um, please do stick around on YouTube. If you're not on YouTube already, um, please pop over there and then we'll sort it like you have more than one device in front of you exactly you can do both you can do both and then you'll get really annoyed at us when we're 20 seconds ahead on one (laughs) and then behind on the other and you'll get delay and it'll be like an echo but then if you forget to listen for 20 seconds you're safe (laughs) as long as you're forgetting to listen (laughs) to radio because then you can just go oh wait it's on youtube don't worry (laughs) but yeah uh we're gonna give you another song now uh i'm feeling like a little one direction section uh, after five seconds of summer yes um you're having a day aren't you i am i'm having quite a day <laughs> so we are gonna hit you with a cheeky one direction section uh, it's not even a song by them <laughs> does it say one direction on <laughs> it it says one direction well it's a cover people at home tell me this this here where it says the song we're going to play next, does that say One Direction or not? It does say One Direction. Because it does say One it does, Direction. It doesn't. It's still a cover. Exactly. It's, it's a cover, but it's a One Direction cover. Therefore, it's a One Direction song. Um, <laughs> I didn't realise you'd be so heated <laughs> I don't about know the concept I, I don't know. of one way I, or another. I don't know why this has made me so angry. But there you go. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll go with that as well cool uh this is one way or another brackets brackets teenage kicks by one direction which was done for comic relief i'd forgotten that it was done for comic relief they do they've done quite a few things for like um charity events yeah, and stuff yeah, yeah. Like, that. They've, like back yeah. when they were still a band exactly <laughs> rip <laughs> r.i.p but it's okay because like harry and niall are still making good music I'll make no comments on the rest of them. But Harry and Niall are still doing it. I think they all make music still, don't they? Yeah, but good music is a different question, isn't it? I'm not, um, I'm not having this debate no, exactly. anywhere that I can be recorded. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not commenting about One Direction public ever. Cool. So here is One Way or Another by One Direction. So um, for everyone at home, we we can now take off our headphones. Oh, dear. And I think I've got a way that we're going to make this work. Okay. So, we are first going to pull up the trailer for Joker. Okay. Um, which you can all see here. Um, they've got it on their screen. You can still hear it. Anyway, I'm going to pass you these. Uh-huh. Um, because these I can solo the audio from. Okay. Which means you'll be able to hear only the Joker trailer. Okay, so you're making me watch the Joker trailer. Yes, you are watching the Joker trailer. Um, I'm going to put subtitles on it so that I can vaguely Get keep up with things. Yeah, makes sense. Uh, captions are on. Fantastic. Wonderful. Uh, this seems so lame of us to do. Yeah. To that's just fine. go, oh yeah, we're, we're doing a react now. But it is what, are you still listening to One Direction? Oh, good, fantastic! You they can't can... you can't hear us, right? How? I can hear both. You can hear us both. Yeah. That should not be happening. We're gonna sort this out before reacting to that trailer. Who knows? We're going to put on another One Direction song, probably. Um, I've got my little app that I tune That's in good. from. That's good. Are you hearing us through YouTube, or are you hearing us through your headphones? <laughs> the only issue with this app I is can't... I get ads at the beginning. You good? I can hear... Ezzy. Hearing us, yeah? No, playing the delayed oh, down okay, the headset, yeah, yeah. so please take it away. Because <laughs> I was so confused. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, it's so fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not actually coming out on radio. It's fine. Cool. Moving on. Anyway, moving on. Here is the the Joker, the Joker trailer that is, you want me to react to. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, Merry Christmas, everyone. What? What is going on right now? I know I'm listening to it with nothing. <laughs> it's really funny to listen to with night changes in my other ear. I'm glad you're entertaining yourself. Yeah, it's good. I don't know how I feel about um, a Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn, but also what's seeming to have happened in terms of uh, changing Harley's origin in this so far. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Oh, what's that? Chill drive. Nice. Pause that. Um we'll go back to this. Fine, you know? It's definitely I think the oddest part about it is that they're completely or it appears to be they're changing about Harley Quinn's um, kind of like basis, right? Yeah. I think what's difficult about doing that is one, well, there'll be people who get really cross. But mm -hmm. also I don't think don't know if it fits with the way the the previous film was. No. You know what I mean? Like the way the the previous film was lined up very much um it, most of it occurs in his head, so are they going mm. to have it occur in his head is like not actually going to be a connection between yeah. them is it going to be like or a... is it they're both hallucinating together maybe that's a bit odd though isn't but it? Yeah, yeah having the exact same thing bit bit dodge in it it'll be interesting to see what they do with the film yeah it'll be interesting to see but I'm not I'm not that fussed about it we're back on air in a second and we've yep. just done the most boring react I think ever <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Film Talk. Um, <laughs> Has it occurred to you yet? What? You gave me your headphones. Yeah, no, that's fine. I can still hear what I need to oh, hear. Oh, I can't. Oh, you can't. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. You should be able to hear things now. Yes, I can. Um, we'll bring that down, and we'll put we'll put a little music underneath us. Why not? Sorry, people on YouTube, you won't be able to hear this. Um, but it gives us a reference of how long we need to take. Um uh, yeah, I can hear that. Cool. Yeah, it's fine. Um, I, I turned all of the headphones down really quiet on Friday. When we were trying to set up everything for this stream, yeah. I turned down all the headphones because they were really annoying me. Because uh, we were trying to like get certain sounds out of the speakers up there and everything. And then just I could only hear the he headphones from down here because someone on some show 
just likes likes cranking it to full volume so that even when you have like the headphones you can still sort of shut it. you can still really hear it um and it's honestly one of the most frustrating things is just the like being able to hear that um especially when you're having trying to have a vaguely tech-based conversation with someone and all you can yeah. hear is music yeah um let's see um what do we usually do in this section usually we have a ge- a overarching topic yeah but, you know i think i have actually got a bit more um not quite news just sort of um sort of a, an opinion piece okay uh to put out there and it's about the new ubisoft star wars game okay uh which i think is called outlaw yeah star wars outlaws is the new ubisoft uh star wars game and it looks really good it looks really it looks good interesting. like the trailer looks good um we're not gonna play that uh for everyone now but like go find it yeah go find it you can watch it yourself uh there's a 10 10 and a half minute gameplay uh trailer that we can see just here uh that is on the official ubisoft youtube account but anyway i'm gonna ask you uh and and you in there um we'll turn we'll unmute you and turn you up hello hello um how much do you think that Star Wars Outlaws costs? It's a brand new game. Like I don't. It's currently on pre-order. Is it a big game? It's gonna yes. It's a big open world. Big open world game. To uh, buy. To buy. Yeah. How much do you think it's it's gonna be? It's probably gonna be something ridiculous, like between sixty and eighty pounds, surely. Okay. For yeah, you? seventy. Seven. Oh, so you've both gone between sixty and eighty. <laughs> oh, I'll just be more specific about that. <laughs> So, the bit of controversy, controversy that has come out over this yeah. is that there are three levels of the game that you can buy. Okay. Which, two levels is one that is a thing that has been a part for games for quite a while, where there's usually a generic version and then there's a deluxe version, where the deluxe version is basically just a couple of cosmetic items and then the season pass. Like, that's... Here are some extra kind of, bits and pieces. Exactly. Yeah. Um Ubisoft have decided to split it into three. Okay. Um, we're going to refuse cookies on that. Here is those three. The standard edition is £60. Decent price for a brand new game. Uh, then the gold edition is £95. And the ultimate edition is £115. I don't know what those game. bundles but Digital art book would be quite nice, but you can usually acquire those anyway. Exactly. Like, there's... The worst bit of this is... the ult- So the Ultimate Edition, which is the top, top level, is basically what most other games would call the Deluxe Edition. If it was, like... If it was Star Wars Jedi Survivor, it would just be the... Uh, the deluxe edition if it was f124 it's the champions edition kind of thing like i think the thing that really grates me is that you're paying like what's 114 quid right yeah and it's it, like a digital art book if i'd paid that like i don't know f- 10 years ago they would have given you a book like you would have yeah. received a book you'd get like a full collector's edition yeah, for that be price in a box yeah. and it would look nice and it's just it's insane to me now that for digital content that they can take away from you, yeah, you're paying 114.99. You're paying 115 quid. Let's be real. Yeah, and then, like, I could understand it if, like, they actually off. Like, firstly, who wants three day early access to the game? Who's that fussed about playing the game? That three days of early access is actually a thing for them i suppose if you're a streamer um, or a gamer yeah, then it might be beneficial, it might be beneficial to be, if, you can get there quicker yeah, than yeah, other yeah. people um yeah we've still got music going it's fine um but and the season pass i can also absolutely understand like 
to just get a season pass off, off from the off I'd I'd love that for, with a game like they've started to do it less and less with games where they just leave it until they've done all the DLC and then they go oh you can get a season pass now that we've released everything are you getting a squeaking from yeah that? I am yeah, okay. it's actually driving me loopy uh, we're not listening to you anymore uh, you're not involved um, but bearing in mind this like 20 quid jump here from gold edition to ultimate edition is for a, essentially two cosmetic packs and an art book I feel like they've they've only done this to do that sort of like middle pricing mm. the sort of scam that Again, companies do if- where they do a medium one that's clearly not worth the price that it's put at and then they do a large one which in comparison to that one makes sense. is a lot better i would be willing to pay that amount if it came in a box with a book yeah. and other bits and pieces you like c- i can't remember how much i paid for it but i got the lego lego star wars the saga the the, series the, Sk- thing, the skywalker it? saga yeah. that came out i got the like ultimate edition of that and it came physically with the disc the box and then came with like a little Lego figure as well. Nice. Like, and it's like, oh, that's a nice little thing to get. And then you also get like DLC and blah 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 yeah. blah blah blah. And that's re- that was really nice I to those get. Days of yeah. Physical. Like, I really enjoyed. I can't remember. Like, I've got the original series of Baldur's Gate, not the new mm. one. Really want to play the new one, but my current laptop would die. Yeah. I have the first. I mean, Baldur's Gate three. I've got some of the older ones boxed with T-shirts and collectors cards and the soundtracks and everything just yeah. all boxed up together and honestly that it's i miss the days of receiving those kind of things when you bought games because now you just you just don't because it's all downloaded yeah it's it's the fact that i'm pretty sure xbox have done it but you can get a playstation 5 as a disc version and a digital version mm. like you can just get a fully digital one that kind of sucks for me like I've got the disc version rather than the digital one. Um, we are creeping because, in that direction. Though. This is why I don't own a, I don't I own a console it. personally. Yeah. But we are creeping towards this kind of like digital only. Oh, 100%. I need to shift. Um, we are getting to the stage where it's all going to be digital and companies go, oh, we don't, we don't want you to have that anymore. They'll just take it away. Yeah. We're already seeing it on streaming platforms. Exactly. Like you've got so many, th- like the, I think there was an incident with a game I can't remember what the game was where loads of people had played it and then sh- Steam? Potentially Steam. Uh, Wouldn't shock me. Just sort of went, okay, this game doesn't exist anymore. I think and PlayStation took it off had a similar thing as yeah. well. Yeah. Like, and it was a whole drama in itself and it's just like, just let us have the game. But the fact that Amazon Prime, you pay to rent and buy things and they're like, yeah. yeah. It's... Buy your films, download your films, keep your films somewhere physical i fully thought you were about to just go buy your films keep your films or pirate it go <laughs> onto the internet find pirate bay and download it god pirate bay makes me feel old yeah so. <laughs> but you, um, you should have physical copies of things like cds i enjoy owning cds records that kind of thing yeah um yeah yeah, yeah. we've got 25 seconds left before we're out of time uh, and we're going to go into a bit of Backstreet Boys because um, I'm on that boy band here. You really are. I am. Every I'm... time I hear that song, all I think about is um, the scene from Brooklyn yeah. Nine-Nine. Everyone thinks about the scene from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. They Just... play it at clubs and they pause it for everyone to say the line from Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Like, no one plays the, it. Now number five. Yeah, the, exactly. Yeah. Anyway, here is I Want It That Way by the Backstreet Boys. Uh... Bye bye. Yeah. The one. I'm not gonna sing because I know where I'm to. Yeah. We're not uh, a karaoke. We we do karaoke now. We That's... do when no one else is listening. Yeah, we'll, exactly. There are clips of you doing like having a oh, proper vibe. There's so many clips of me that have never gone anywhere and never will go anywhere. Um. Except on the Fanta media uh, yeah. stories, where they delete after twenty four hours. Exactly, so it doesn't it. really count, does it? 
anyway, we'll go back to trying to fix this thing over yeah, here. Yeah, what have you what have you broken? Um there is a webcam in there uh-huh. that would let us get thingy majig on on the okay. screen. Um so we're gonna go back to fixing it. What we're gonna do in the meantime though, we're just gonna um we're gonna go to just this. Yeah. Um which for reference, uh we've gone to that. We're just oh, this you're at the moment. Just giving them me. Yeah, Great. I'm going to go into the other room. Okay. Um, you just have your little rant about whatever you want. You, you, know? you just want me to rant on YouTube. Yeah, just rant a bit, a bit about what? Whatever you want. Oh god. I don't care. Great. Um, whilst I try and fix this thing. Fantastic. Yeah. All I can hear is the Backstreet Boys. It's so loud. Take your headphones off. I just, I've got so many sets of headphones in front of me. It's not even funny anymore. I think that generally it's a massive issue that they like take these digital platforms and they can steal content from us essentially. So I'm really bothered by this massive increase of and like this push to download subscriptions to um, look at like digital content that way. It really grates me. I hate it. I think that if you're paying for content you should get to keep it you're paying for it um this idea that everything's rentable just doesn't sit well with me at all ah, like i'm super against it i absolutely detest if you have an opinion on that feel free to at me i'll probably ignore it <laughs> but i genuinely don't understand what is happening owen is currently trying to fix something in the other studio and i'm not quite sure how it is going but that's the issue that we have because we don't really know what we're doing with all the technology at the moment. It's new, but it does mean that whenever we are trying to sort new things and try new content, we do have things get slightly more difficult while we figure out how different bits work. It does also mean that I have Backstreet Boys stuck in my head, which is fantastic. I think the weirdest bit is that I can check on the stream and I can see myself and I hate it. Um, yeah, there you go. You have a rant. I think there are other um, bits and pieces that we'd like to review. Um, we've recently been watching several TV shows online that are digital. It's radio. radio. Um, we've got a couple of animated things we've been watching so i imagine that'll be the discussion for after the hour do i get you back now nah oh, please what were you even talking about I, like i couldn't hear you in there i got into a mini rant about how they take digital technologies from people i'm sure sky will be plenty happy with you stealing the content from uh so sky behind the desk hello sky um we're here fixing things now. Um, everyone welcome Sky. Um, put it in the chat. Uh, how much How much of this song do we have? Oh, we've got a while. Cool. So Sky. Um, this is the screen we're looking at now. Can you... Are, are you able to remote or are you just guiding me through it? I can't remote at the moment, so I'm going okay. to Cool. Where do we go? So, on OBS. Yep. On the scenes section, you want to find Studio 2, not Studio 2 Clean. Ooh, okay. Actually, yeah, find Studio 2 Clean. Studio 2 Clean found. Okay. If you click on that, yep. on the sources, there should be a camera. Yep. What are you doing? Click on that and select properties. Do they get all of this on the YouTube? Yeah, they're, they're seeing everything that we're doing here. Okay. We're here to ruin the magic of this. Of course. Anyway, yeah, we're on properties. If you select, there should be a, a thing at the top that says generic web, web yeah, yeah, yeah. Generic web, webcam. Click on that. Yeah. Bring a drop down. Is there another generic webcam? In no. Hmm. Okay. Um, close that. Is there an activate slash deactivate button? There is. Somewhere. Deactivate. Press it. 
Yep, pressed. <laughs> I feel bad for anyone who can't hear it because I'm and vibing. Activate. Nothing. Can I do anything? No. Nothing. Nothing. Go load up the camera. Wait, is in. As what in, you, just, just regular camera. What are you just trying to camera. work out? Because you're going to run out of song soon. Uh, which ones did we put on? We won't run out of song because I've put more song on. Um, Good. Yep. Yeah. Okay, this is what we're getting camera wise. If it won't. It the won't run both. Rotate camera button. It should change between the cameras. Yep, I've. Uh... I don't think it'll let you open it while we are streaming. Yeah. It's going to try and open the Logitech cams. Isn't You'll it? just have to sort um... it another occasion. Why is it not working? It's plugged into the USB hub, isn't it? What in Studio Two? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go check that one now. I don't see why it wouldn't be. You're just you're just running Ethan, away. Continue again. your rant. No. What about the fact that they still meet you and it bothers me? Pirate Bay does make me feel odd. Do it. Do it. Are you encouraging No I'm piracy. Not encouraging piracy. We're not encouraging piracy on air, promise. I would never encourage piracy on YouTube or anywhere else. That would be considered bad form, I think. Um, I mean, I do have other little rants, and mostly they revolve around the fact that every time I look up any news on Empire, Empire divides it up really weirdly. Um, because they, they do their own podcast series. It's great. Go look at Empire. But it means that half of their news articles are set out in these podcasts and it just makes everything a lot difficult like a lot more difficult to find and some of the news that generally floats around is really really biased which also puts me off a little bit is that lots of the news articles that talk about film uh, tend to be more about the actors themselves and that really grates me because then the actors get like talked about in a particular way online and it's not actually about the film or the content they're in it just you know especially when you've got it through like the telegraph and stuff i was saying to the people of youtube that it really bothers me how different um news articles opt to talk about actors and actresses yeah um and instead of talking about their work or whatever it is that they're doing it will just be derogatory because they don't like them and i think it's just not okay I really think that this is going to be better off to deal with yeah, on another we'll, occasion. We'll, do, we'll, we'll sort it. But if we can sort it now, it fixes everything. You know? Studio to clean. Properties. General webcam. There is only one general webcam. Deactivate. Yeah, expect to activate. That again. Yeah. Activate. Ah, there we go. Has it worked? It's worked. Wonderful. Wonderful. So. What have we got now then? We can now do that. Hold on. If I can find commentary. I can do this. I can't see anything. Um, and put that in there. We have a third person with us now on the stream. You need to sort the layout of this again because it looks really odd. What the fact that there's just yeah, it looks millions awful. Please, of... yeah, no, it's Put just a thing on it. no. I'm not. Do not do the rest of the stream so it looks like that. Like what? You you do you know what I mean? Or just just like this the whole time. No, I don't know what you mean. Please don't. Anyway, um, we do actually have one for this somewhere. There, there you go. go. Put that. And now there. we all exist. Now we all exist on the stream. It's not that bad. Thank you, Sky. Bye bye. Oh, people did say hello to Sky, by the oh, way, people, on the YouTube. People have said hello to you. 
We have 29 seconds. 27, 25. Um, we'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Yeah. The thing is, I did pull up the YouTube so I could have a look at the way it was all viewing and everything. And the fact that I can hear myself is super gross. What, just in your head? Where? Just generally, the you... fact that I can see myself is super gross. Oh, okay, fair. Yeah. Oh, we're back. We are, in fact, back. That is right. You're listening to Phantom Radio. My name is Owen. My name is Ezzy. Well <laughs> done. Can you hear yourself? Um, well, like, is in, in real life, yeah. Through your headphones? No. Oh, okay. That sucks for you. Um, and also... Ethan. Yeah. As per. And you are listening to Film Talk. Um, Ezzy is in our second studio. Um, yeah, man. Yeah. We finally fixed the camera problem that we were having, uh, which means on YouTube, everyone, we're still on YouTube, uh, you can... Uh, tune in uh, with the video and you can see all three of us you sat yeah you've got well done all three of us exist now all three of us exist it's good Um, what is the time it is 10 to it is in fact 10 to I did go on a little bit of a point in the fact that you and I have been watching animated bits and pieces yeah that was going to be a thought I did want to ask you... It was something. going to be a thought. It still is, is, a, it still is a thought. Okay, because good. I did see another thing that you've pulled up that I kind of want to ask you about. Okay. Um, thoughts on the increase of just film musicals and musicals being is, made into films. Are you talking about this that I've pulled up? Not just this, but generally. I, okay. It has, it, there feels like an increase of music in TV shows, music in films. Yeah. I like characters and things singing, not just... Um, like it just being apparent in film because that's existed for years. But yeah. You're a you're a musical theatre nerd. What it what are your you are? Yeah. Don't lie. Oh, oh. Um. You pulled a face at me then. Yeah, I did. Don't lie. Um. What are your thoughts though on this increase of stage shows converted into film? I have very mixed feelings about it because sometimes they do a very good job and sometimes they are god awful. Yes. Um. And it very much depends how they're doing it and who they're doing it with. Um, I'm going to throw out a bit of a uh, bit of a hot take, um, especially to uh, certain friends of mine who are also theatre kids. Um, Heather's the pro shot that exists on Amazon Prime. Yes, it's awful. So I've not, I've not actually so sat and it. annoying. Um, I like, know that they adjusted some of the songs for it, didn't they? Did it, was it Amazon Prime or for the live shows in the UK? They adjusted yeah. so one of the songs to make it sound a little bit less overtly dodgy. I'm yeah. to choose language very carefully. You know the song I mean. If you know, if you've seen Heather's, you know the song Do I'm you talking mean, about. I feel like we can say that. We can I say can't... Dead Girl Walking, if you mean that one. No, the no? two football guys. That have oh, the... okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, I can't even remember the title of the song yeah. off the top of my head, but the content of the song is a bit <laughs> shifty, <laughs> and I know that they've changed the song for... Yeah. I don't know if it's UK audiences or yeah, what they're trying to... Um, like, it wouldn't surprise me if they changed it for UK audiences, Um I know that there have been other shows that have been changed because they, um, there are certain words here that are classified as slurs and words over there that yes. aren't. There is a one um, that is uh, begins with an S very specifically yes. in the US. That's the one I'm thinking. The one in the US that means to be um, clumsy or a bit all over the place, I think, is yeah. how they define that word. And if you say that in the UK, no, nope. no, 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 nope. it, it's... Um, uh, discriminatory uh, discriminatory towards people with disabilities pal- yeah. specifically cerebral palsy yeah. and it's you have you clocked on which one we're talking you about you worked yeah. out which one yeah. it's well done did you know that word was unintentionally popularised by Blue Peter like the show how um, because they when they tran- when it got translated and everything wrong so they popularised the use translated 
well in the between the uk and the us but they used it oh. quite often um like unintentionally popularizing it in connection with oh. cerebral palsy which is why it is now a slur i just thought that um people in america were just mean i mean they, also they that they are but but they have like lots of reactions to words that we use or don't use and there yeah. is it seems to be a massive disconnect because there's always people talking about the whole crisps chips thing yeah but like ironically in terms of like swear words and language like that there is a massive disjoint about what is and isn't offensive yeah, yeah, yeah. um this conversation doesn't work on air you can't because no, <laughs> we can't early. really just go <laughs> oh yeah it's this early. word it's too early for us to be saying that um like there's a certain word beginning with p four letters long but only three letters in it that might help you both no i'd gotten there already i was looking over yeah just a bit slow over there cogs are turning um you'll get there eventually continue to give more context without saying that's fine where over here it can mean a great many things yes um it can be it can mean annoyed it can mean drunk yeah it doesn't mean the thing with children a p word with to that do... means we yes it yes. also means we yeah yes um <laughs> like there's a great many things that it can be used for over here <laughs> over there it just means angry really it only means angry so if you say someone's a bit yeah insert worded then they'll go oh what's he angry about it's rather than oh how many did he have that has the same energy as the c word in australia that is affectionately used and used quite a lot um, yeah that i've said in like slang and in the same way we have like lots of different words for things but it's used a load in australia and i it, i don't find it offensive i know that some people really don't like it but in the us it's like an absolute no as to yeah. things to say um but also, I feel like that, that, that's that got to be to do with the fact that no American can be taken seriously whilst saying it. <laughs> you know, I think have that's you ever why... heard an American yes, say it? But it's I also awful. think that's why the Australians get away with saying it, because it's so ridiculous. You can't be angry at Yeah, that, exactly. You know? They say it so well. They do. Like, I, I mean, I was watching a film at the weekend, right, with my dad. What film? Big Up Ch- It was uh, Arrival. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so it's an American film and they had like a British like it's a military film and they had a British military guy come on and he said like three words and one of them was the B word that means that you don't have a dad or something or your parents aren't married. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, born before your parents got married. Yeah. Born at a wedlock, yeah. And that was like one of the only words that he said in it. Was that... Did he say it like an American says it or like a Scotsman says it? Uh, he said it like an American doing a really oh, bad God. British accent. <laughs> they try so hard. And it's it's one of the words that you, if you don't say it with the right inflection, you sound like a bad person. You know what I mean? You have to say it the right way Yeah. if you're not going to actively be rude. But I also think that Americans, some Americans fake English accents really well and some... yeah. To be fair, there are some English people that fake American accents really well as well. Yeah. That I have seen in things and gone, well, yeah, me. your voice is different. <laughs> Can I hear it? Uh, no. Come on. On air right now. <laughs> don't bully. Yeah, don't be mean. I'm don't not mean. bullying. I never bully. You're a liar. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's jump into another song. It's coming up to six o'clock now. Which um, means I get to rant about animated things. Oh, when I said uh, it's coming up to seven. Sorry, yeah, it is coming up six. to seven o'clock. Um, we're gonna keep on the boy band train. Um, this is Wild Heart by the Vamps. When are we getting McFly? Uh, uh, That's we always oh, end. It always, <laughs> always happens at week. some point. We're just preparing ourselves for it. Um, fun fact for everyone: the Vamps were the first band I saw live. They were supporting Same. McFly. 
the vamps. So I, I bought tickets for McFly, and you saw the and vamps. I saw the vamps Ironically, as well. Ironically, um, growing up, they were the only kind of like proper boy band I was into because I was raised on all my parents' rock music. So like, yeah. these were like the only proper, you know, boy was, boy band. I was a that, JLS girly. Of course you were. Why am I not? I'm not even surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you be? You know. And then I was vamps. Vamps was the one that I saw. Yeah, I've n- not seen them live. I went to the Motor Point Arena. Ooh, wow. Uh, same, actually. But my closest arena diff- would have been the O2. A different Motor Point Arena, <laughs> but the Motor Point Arena nonetheless. Um, anyway, we're going to kick into Wild Heart. Um, we're also going to take a bit of a break from YouTube for a bit. Um, I'm going to actually mute our mics and turn us to blank screen just so we get a bit of a rest, you know? <laughs> Because we need it sometimes. Yeah, use the time to like go get a drink, go to the toilet. Uh, exactly. All of those things. Do what you want to do. Exactly. Okay. We will see you after the break. Here is Wild Heart. And I've forgotten that I don't have the button over here anymore. No, you don't. Anyway, bye-bye.
and I think we're back. Yeah? Oh, fantastic. I can make this work. <laughs> I've got no idea what I'm doing. Well, I can hear you. That, that's a start. I'll that's take all it. all that counts. I don't know if everyone else can. I don't know. Got no idea. I was told to press things and I've done it. So <laughs> we will see. Um, I did have a quick query for you. I have been watching on Amazon Prime a animated TV series called Hasman Hotel, which I am enjoying. I don't know if you've seen it because you're not big on... You don't watch lots of stuff, do you? I, I don't know. And I was at work today. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Do you like a musical, though? Because lots of the point I was trying to ask Owen about, who has potted off to get a drink, by the way, for everyone watching at home. From? Generally. Like, I wanted, like... Where are they getting their drink from? No idea. Okay. I assume a vending machine. That's generally the premise. Oh, uh, yeah. Usually we go afterwards, so I've been left on air unattended. <laughs> I mean, worst comes to worst, guys got me on WhatsApp and would just message me and be like, it's broken, <laughs> we can't hear you. Um, they can see us. Oh, that's great. Yay. Lovely. Fantastic. <laughs> um, yeah, I've got the live chat in front of me, so as it catches up. But are you impartial to a musical? Like, or music-themed things when you're watching stuff, or do you just want to watch it? I mean, if it's a good song, then I... W- like, I like Glee. Yeah. You know... That was good, but I'm not bothered about it. Like, I'm not going, oh, I want to watch a film. I'm going to watch a musical. Okay. And, like, I haven't seen Heathers. I know that Callum is going to be upset that Owen doesn't like the Heathers. Yeah? Uh, yeah, that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got nothing against Heathers. I mean, I did it, and they can see us and everything. I'm oh, so no. proud of myself. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sat this side of the table. That feels wrong. Um, I was just asking about musicals or music within things how we feel about those yeah they're gonna be really small if they've been on my head i'm yeah i've got a small head (laughs) smaller than mine yeah yeah shocking vending machine i told you why don't you get me one because you've got your own money that you can spend this this was beyond the point (laughs) (laughs) you don't like heathers do you have you you enjoyed other musicals though or are you just like Oh no, I hate every single musical. All of that. <laughs> uh, no. no, 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 I do like, I'm also making it taller, which you... Yeah, I am, I, I'm having to sit up so straight because I'm this side of the table, it's not even funny. I'll also sit up straight and probably not be in view of the camera. Yeah, I, I, it's because this is like straight in the way of the camera, there you go. Yeah. Like, the camera's at such a weird place in this one, side, yeah. so. Um, but yeah, um, no, I... I I like musicals. There are some musicals that I like, um, which anyone who knows me on a personal level will not be surprised by. No, because you do musical theatre. Exactly. Um, but there are also some musicals that I cannot, cannot get behind. Um, and the worst bit is, it's ones that often my mates are really big fans of. Six. Six can't stand <laughs> it at all. I really liked that musical. I, I enjoyed Six. I would rather sit in a theatre on the stage and cry for two hours <laughs> than go and watch that. Again. Oh dear. Um, I really can't stand the show. Um, you know what has sort of occurred to me? Are you... No, I'm, I'm muted right now. Yeah, there you go. Turn me up, unmute me. There we go. Everyone can hear me. There now. you go. I was so confused why I couldn't hear myself, but I just like maybe it's just the headphones. No, it's because obviously when no. you walked yeah. off, there was nobody sat in that chair. There's no so. sat in that chair. Yeah. So <laughs> okay, to recap, everyone who's not been able to hear me, although I feel like people will have been slightly able to hear me. Um, I could hear you. Okay. Cool. Brilliant. Okay. That's probably our best reference of what the stream sounds like. Okay. Cool. Um, I don't like a lot of modern musicals. Um, specifically Six and Heathers and f- stuff that's like that kind of thing. And it it is really frustrating to me that I don't like them because often it's my friends who are fans of them. So my be- one of my best mates, the man who, if I were to ever get married, would probably be my best man, Callum, he is a massive fan of Heathers. Like, he loves it. And I tried to watch it the other day for the like because i realized the pro shot was on amazon why not you know like i needed something to watch i'll put that on couldn't stand it could not like couldn't get through it kind of thing um it just wasn't the vibe you know 
Just not something you enjoy. No. Um, but I've, I'm 90%... I'm 90% in the idea of part of that is because of the audience that was there on the nights that they were filming it. Right. Because it was exclusively super fans of Heather's. Oof. And therefore they were laughing at clapping and clapping at every single minor thing that happened, even if it wasn't that funny. Right. And they were oh. like... One time, it's the most frustrating thing. I went to the Royal Shakespeare Company, and it was like a Shakespeare play, and people would be like, "Oh, ho, 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 like before the joke that wasn't funny because it's in Shakespearean and no one understands it." Yeah, and they're I like, "I've differ. read this play before." <laughs> <laughs> That's like, because you were no, taught it in shut school. Up. Calm down. <laughs> like, like the thing is with this audience is like, it would it was literally just fan servicey bits, and they'd go mental over it. As in, we've got an applause sound effects on this system here that is yes. less extreme than what these fans were doing. Because, like, it would be the slightest thing of, oh, they recreated the pose from the photo, like, from the poster? Brilliant. And then the, every single one of them would go mental over it. It's like, you don't, don't wrong. Need There are some fan servicey fan bits in other shows that I'm like, no, I get it, though. Like, the line in Hamilton about immigrants getting the job done they yeah. have to pause there because there was always a cheer from the audience yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah that's fan service and you're talking about current political events and everything but they know it is going to get a cheer and it is yeah. valid that it does it's especially like, in the political climate over it's there. like to, to put it in context of something i enjoy a bit more spider-man uh no way home yeah yeah there is a moment in that where you get spoiler alert for spider-man no way home but quite frankly, if you watch this show, chances are you've probably seen that. Or had spoilers for it already. Yeah, exactly. so was... <laughs> Basically, the two Spider-Men from the previous tri- like the previous series of Spider-Men, so Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, appear in this film as also Spider-Man, the, the Spider-Mans that they play. Yes. Um, and after both of them are introduced, there is a pause for fans to cheer in the cinema. It's the it's the moment. It, well, not even not <laughs> even that bit. It's the like when Ned Leeds and Zendaya's character MJ when they summon Andrew and Toby to the kitchen. It's that moment. They both step out of the portal and then there is a pause where nothing happens except for them standing there because they are expecting it's to give you fans to, react. to go. Yeah, I, I but the thing who, is, no one that, claps in cinema. Like, that doesn't work in the UK. In the US, it really works because they do. They've clap done it with Star cinema. Wars, haven't they? There have been clips yeah. of audiences reacting, and um, American audiences reacting to one of the newer Pokemon films where Pikachu yeah. speaks, and the audience is like a crazy bad. Yeah, yeah. Not... yeah, that was me when James A. Custer rocked up in, in Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. Yeah. yeah. Also, that really I have threw me. frozen. You were frozen. Yeah. You were frozen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, Let's swap seats. Yeah. We'll fix this. Because this, okay. this doesn't work for me. <laughs> no, let's, let's go. <laughs> so, musical chairs for everybody. Woo! Not you. Not everyone, yeah. I'll just go and sit on that chair. Oh. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Probably for the best, to be honest. I'm not meant to be that. I'm not built to be that. Okay. Um, oh, dear. <clears throat> let's fix this. I didn't break anything, though. Yeah, you did. You broke everything. I didn't break it. No, I didn't. You broke me and Such I am everything. Good, <laughs> such a good still. <laughs> it's it's, hell. it's no, awful. It's there horrible. have been worse ones. No, there was when we originally decided we were fixing the cameras, um, we had to take them off the mounts on the wall because they don't point at anything. And um, the still we got of Alfie, shout out the sports show, yeah. um, is so good and we didn't save it. And I'm so oh. sad that we don't have this like massive close up. Because it was like as he was taking it off of the wall, so it's like this <laughs> of his face, like really, really close up, like built into his face, um, while they deal with that. And I think that's really, really funny. Watching the delay sort itself out is super strange because <laughs> yeah. I'm watching myself now move chairs. Yeah, but I've got it there for the live chat because unfortunately it came through after I would have liked. But somebody has commented that we could hear barely hear our, and I'm like. So I fixed it now. Yeah. Um, the answer to the unfortunate question of Ezzy's frozen camera uh, is we don't have that camera anymore. Oh. And we can't hear me again because I muted myself so that I could fix it. <laughs> Bye, guys. Um, yeah. We don't have Ezzy on camera anymore. Um, Lucky people. Uh, unless... C- you see that USB port? Like the set four? This one? Yeah. 
Um, just unplug the one, the one that's in there, unplug it, and then plug it into a different place in the port. I can hear the humming again. Also, sorry, it's not your fault. It is your fault. It is. I put the mic down. It's dead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Oh, it's it's trying. It's gonna get. You done spooked. it? Boops. Unplugged. Replugged. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. Uh, we'll try this again. Uh, studio too clean. We it's just, it's it's really difficult deactivate. when we're constantly trying clean. to fight with technology. Like nothing about this process feels smooth at all, and it, it really it's really frustrating. I would just like to reiterate that Ethan's head is tiny. I do have a really small. It's head. So I, I small. Actually, I do. I fit into the kids' hats we sell at work. See, I just think that your head's big, Owen. My head is not big. Well, no, because it's my metaphorically big. Well, if my hat fit Ellie, that means that my head is the same size as Ellie's, and if Ethan's head is according to you small, everyone's head is small, so that means that your head is big. No. Yeah. No, just because you're small doesn't mean that I'm big. Except for when we're talking about how tall I am, in which case you being small does make me tall. That's because I would just want to feel taller. You are quite tall though. Yeah, but I'm not. not I'm, really. I'm not Calamari. Sometimes I don't. No, sometimes you know? I don't think that you're taller. I stand next to you. Yeah, but I you put anybody next to me and they immediately look taller. So that's <laughs> what it is. You it's just you're seeing us around each other a lot. You're like Owen is tall. Owen's not that tall. No, because I always think that Owen's like a normal height, and then Owen I stand next to them, and they're like, "Whoa." Uh, I think, I think the best example of me not looking tall is me being stood next to Sky. Yes. Um. <laughs> As we discovered the other week, it makes me look like a dwarf. <laughs> I dwarf. don't want to stand next to Sky ever. No. Sorry. You, <laughs> if you look like probably, a dwarf next to yeah. Sky, I can't afford to look I that You'd probably so come impressed. up to the bottom of her legs. Well, <laughs> I'm, no, I'm po- so impressed of that her she. Torso, top of her legs. Fitted into my car. <laughs> the fact that she fit in that little car. By the way, we are just talking about how tall Sky is. Um. <laughs> We, I'm waiting. Sky is not fat. We would like to clarify <laughs> yeah. this. It wasn't a surprise that she could fit in the car for that reason. It's because she's tall. Have, it's because you own a Fiat 500. Yeah, I yeah, have and a that's 500. not built for tall people. Yes. And did is she it, go in the back? Yeah. I like. I struggle to get in the back sometimes. But that is because usually if I'm in the back, we're with someone who rides with the, the front seat really far back. It's quite like Lucy. unnecessarily far back you know we've completely derailed again this <laughs> yeah, yeah. Week. it's fine like who's actually tuned in we i can't actually we see have the four thing. people watching it we moment. have four people watching we have four people ah, on youtube that's two good. of them are us oh yeah but that's not the point <laughs> <laughs> that is actually no that's a very good point one of them will be sky yeah and the other one is just someone the other is my dad oh wow. good. hi ethan's dad <laughs> Uh, Charles needs to up his game. Yeah. As does John. Yeah, John. Do you forget your dad's name? Yeah. <laughs> it's fine though. John Williams, composer. Well done. <laughs> you remembered a fun fact I told you. <laughs> anyway, um, we're gonna go into more boy bands. You Ooh. really? Oh, it's fine. Yeah. You're the one who's picked these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I, I was like, I need to be like on theme if I'm going to pick some music. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. Um, so you get to introduce it. Um, we're going to go into this and then actually be on topic for when we come back. Yeah, it's probably going to do. Yeah, cool. Um, as a result, this is Mar- Maroon 5's uh, Move Like Jagger. And it's the radio edit because yeah. worlds. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if we can. Is, is the regular one sweary? I don't think it's sweary, but I think there's like... A little section, I can't remember what her name is. Oh, it's Christina Aguilera. Yeah. Her bit in it, I think, isn't censored in oh, the okay. actual one. I think there's a line, maybe. I don't oh, know. Okay, fair. Fair. We'll find out. Anyway, here is Moves Like Jagger. YouTube can still hear us. Yeah, YouTube's yeah. loving this. Not being able to hear the song. And, and just, just have to see us vibing. Ah, da 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 da. da. <laughs> uh, I've got a chocolate bar. Are you just gonna eat? You just yeah, eat yeah. on stream. Uh, this is a mukbang channel now. It's a what? Mukbang. A mukbang. 
Oh, we can't hear you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they can hear you, but we can't. Okay, well, I really want some of your monster. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> no, uh, actually. Can radio hear her? Uh, if you're wearing those. Do like a million You pets. can hear her now. Um, can you steal the monster for me? Just about. No. We're not stealing that for you. <laughs> what are we what are we not stealing? This. I just want a sip. No. It's not even open yet. For those who can't see, uh <laughs> non disclosed energy drink brand. That can you see? Yeah. Can you see where you've put it? Uh no, you can't see it. Non disclosed energy drink brand. That would if they sponsored us that'd be great. Sponsors think oh my my apparently my stepmom says hi as well who is also <laughs> sort of watching hello hello she needs to put it on her own device so we get an extra view <laughs> yeah more yeah. more devices please thanks <laughs> i think the um my brain is like so in the song why is every maroon song is a bop mm. all of them are bops like every song the maroon five have like ever produced i don't because they, they always get like mid charts and they're bops. Hear me out here though. They're not all bops. Just the ones you remember are bops. Yeah, but that's most of the songs Whereas that they release. Bruno Mars, every song is a bop. I do enjoy some Bruno Mars, to be fair. Bruno Mars is one of those non skip artists where if you just put his catalogue on, you will not skip a single song. That's a lie. What song are you skipping of Bruno Mars? Most of them. What one does she? Most of them. Most of them. Most of them. You're skipping <laughs> most Bruno Mars. No, 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 no. I just. I don't like the one he did years. I think it's called Gorillas. Mm-hmm. Not a fan of that song because it's so. Mm-hmm. I don't think I could listen to more than one like in a sitting, <laughs> like next to each other. If they were spread out with other songs, fine. But I wouldn't be able to like listen to all of the songs. It's too I don't much. think I could sit no. and listen to anyone's full disco- discography. I could. I could do Dis- with Monoskin. Yeah. Thank you. I couldn't just like one artist. I can't do it. So I could with Monoskin. You're obsessed. It's awful. With what? Monoskin. I... That Eurovision band from a that, few years ago. That band that i know of but my brain hears their name and that just doesn't exist quality music it's fine this is a good one and i still think of the cover from youtube from when i was like i know 12 Mm -hmm. when they did all the minecraft ones what's that is it a a bruno mars song where it goes fill my cup put some liquor in it yes yeah that's Uptown Funk yeah, by yeah. Bruno Mars. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so by I, Mark Ronson featuring Bruno Mars. Oh, sorry. Let's be real, though. <laughs> well, I, I always yeah. hear the Dark Lord Funk You Up version. <laughs> I can't I didn't hear catch him as much as the I would dark, like. The Dark because Lord. Because the music is louder. Dark Lord Funk You Up. I got as far as Dark Horse. That was it. Dark Lord. Voldemort. Mm. No. The Dark Lord Voldemort. Yes. Yeah. Dark Lord Funk You Up. Oh. <laughs> singing about a parody. Oh. Of... Yeah. I'm yeah. there now. Of course. <laughs> yeah. You wow. need to explain yourself a bit better. You need to need listen. To not be deaf, apparently. Yeah, one of the yeah. two. To be fair, um, weird, I don't know if they count as parody. The parody of Harry Potter, but the, the puppet pals. Do you remember those yeah. from back in the day? I am obsessed with those. Is so. that the one that's Ron, Ron, Ron Weasley? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, My dad loves that. I love that. That video specifically really gets me. Um, the same person also made like a, they did a parody of the, it's not the eBay song. I, my brain remembers it as the eBay song. Yeah. No. You know so no. my, my dad loves that, like, uh, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. My mum hates it because my mum's a teacher. Oh no! <laughs> so she would just hear it. It's the same way that she hates like pens clicking and water bottles because well, those videos clearly affected like our generation really like quite a lot. Because I could be sat with a group of friends and if I go Snape, Snape, server Snape, someone in that room <laughs> is going to say Dumbledore. Yeah, and it's just built in, and it's so strange. Yeah, this is. I I'm not entirely familiar with how the desk works. 
As long as it's not four just things me. like this. So I'm very scared that only Ezzy is going out at the moment on YouTube <laughs> because we've got it like that for your headphones. Right. I, I don't think that's the case. I don't know. Is, I think they've, if that is the case, they're very, very talking about very have lucky. heard us talking bits about it because they've said things. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, they heard. But it's pardon me. It's definitely one of those things that we'll get used to, and these will get better hopefully. Yeah. Although weirdly enough, we finish soon. Do we? Oh, we finish in thirty minutes. No, like six six weeks. Oh right, yeah, yeah, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're done in 30 well yes but i meant like the fact that in six weeks the universe like we're done yeah if that now thick skull that's why your head's big but i just it's so weird education being over real no real mm. life i'm not ready for that nonsense What are you trying to work out? I'm trying to work out how delayed the radio is. It's quite delayed. <laughs> That's fine, though. Yeah, exactly. Is it more or less than the stream? Oh, less delayed than the stream. The stream is, like, quite a way out. The stream's, like, 30 seconds or something. Yeah. Yeah, because when I moved and sat down, I could, like, basically yeah. time it. No, when yeah. we had, like, the screen up, you could see the time that was on the screen here, and then you could see the time in real life, and it was, like, uh, 30 yeah. seconds. That's probably a really good way of doing it. <laughs> oh. Whoops. Yeah, Billie Eilish is not a boy band. This is very much not a boy band. Please. Please. Good for you, Billy. I'm glad you used to float, um, but we're not here to listen to you. Um, are you a boy band? No. Um, but anyway, I, we actually forgot to re reference it. Um, we'll turn you up as well. Re reference. Re reference reference um sabrina carpenter um tune of the week yes yeah um i picked that uh earlier today simple as you you tend to pick the tunes <laughs> of the um, week did I... I listen to it in advance no that is why there's a swear word in there <laughs> that i hadn't clocked um until i was leaving for my can and food um Please don't do the ASMR thing. Oh, you know I'm going to do it. Every what? week. I can't stand ASMR for anyone who don't. I'm excited. I can't stand it. It makes my brain hurt. It was good, wasn't it? It sounds like that really specific ad that they play when you go to the cinema. It wasn't, you... it wasn't quite as... Uh... ASMR is I thought it was going to be. It it the so it sounds exactly like that really specific ad. <laughs> <laughs> that was bad. Where they where they make a really big deal about how there's still time to get snacks and it's like a Coca-Cola advert yeah. that they play in the cinema. I wouldn't know. I've never been on time. <sighs> yeah, it's actually quite frustrating frustrating to go see a film with a mate. It's you. You're the one that's always late. I'm never late for the cinema. <laughs> it's a lie you are quite <laughs> frequently late to things yeah I'm, no I'm late to things generally I spent my life waiting for you no you haven't yeah no you haven't yeah that's really weird of you to say <laughs> get out you're, you're done <laughs> she's gone now it's fine oh that's just anyway, harsh um recently I texted Ethan did you? Uh, I did. <laughs> Remarkably, I texted you saying a did thing. Did we text each other? I don't. I don't feel like we text. No. Um. I asked how much of Has Been Hotel do I need to have watched <laughs> to watch the Amazon show? Um. And the answer was yeah. about forty minutes of it, if that. Um. And so I watched the first. That I watched the pilot and episode one, which are two separate things in this show. Sort of. Um, entirely. The pilot and episode one are two different things. Well, the, the pilot episode set like a week before, so... Yeah, exactly. Um, but anyway, uh, we're going to have a little chat about animation. Um, yes. Yes. Did you enjoy your first couple, your first interaction with Hasbin Hotel? Because it is 
gone very viral for those of you who are at home it is on amazon prime yeah. it is free to watch if you have amazon prime go watch it it's good if you don't want to pay for amazon prime the spin-off series by the same creator called hell of a boss is on youtube that you can watch for nothing so yeah um, go, go watch at least one of them because i really enjoy them so so i watched the pilot episode and episode one my first thoughts are simply um we're still streaming right yeah yeah we're still going out cool fantastic um my my first thoughts were just i wouldn't have watched this just off the pilot no i wouldn't have watched this show if i'd just seen the pilot and then like had the op like if they released it like a normal show where it was once a week kind of thing yeah and like it was just you have to be that there at seven o'clock on a tuesday or you miss it i'll watch that first episode and then go nah i'm not gonna watch the rest i think the pilot um it's also worth noting for people who aren't aware um the pilot was created by one creator yes she did mu- pretty much most of it by the voicing and some of the background work by herself and she did that i think almost a decade ago now when she created this she had like friends voicing all the characters it wasn't like massive yeah, celebrities yeah, yeah. at the time it was it was literally just to put something in front so she could go to these bigger companies and go look this is what is available please please fund this so i can do something with it which is why now um i don't know if you've looked through the cast of has been hotel generally it's a who's who of famous yeah yeah, yeah. um singers and celebrities because what amazon prime backed it yeah yeah. that seems to have baffled old fans of the show so like how has she gotten the budget like she didn't amazon pay them like it's not she's not getting out of pocket she directs it now she doesn't even animate it anymore they've hired animators who can get through well, episode a by episode faster, a lot quicker yeah. yeah um but yeah it's really interesting to see w- how it's adjusted because i remember when has been hotel the pilot came out on youtube um and watching it back then yeah and being obsessed um and like how much fans have inferred from the pilot i do however really like who they've selected to pull through into the, yeah, yeah, yeah the actual show and i think that the casting choices they've made for the actual show make make a lot of sense given the different characters yeah um i think my main issue with the pilot um so obviously this show is a musical show it is warning for everyone at home who might just want to watch an animated show um it is a musical as well yeah um I think my main issue with the pilot that would make me go, I'm not going to watch, the, watch this anymore, is I don't think the songs were written with the actress in mind. In the because pilot. in the pilot, in the pilot, she's singing way too. Like I'm, I'm, I'm being really pedantic about this. No, you um, may as well be nitpicky kind of thing. Um, you, you're making weird movements, mate. Stop yeah. being distracting. <laughs> Trying to work out if you're gesturing at us. Yeah. Because okay, you're cool. just you're you're throwing gang signs, <laughs> and I'm like, is the, are you telling are us you the tr- stream is yeah. dead? Has something stopped working? Are we good? I uh, no, assume we're cool. all right. We're cool. fine. Fantastic. Anyway, Do continue on. Um, but the actress who voices it in the first in the pilot, yeah, all of those songs are way out of her range. Yeah, like where the majority, the majority of the song, it's like she's singing right right at the top of her register it just doesn't sit well at all and that's that's what i think would put me off if i only watched the part like if it was a weekly thing and it was only the pilot i think that would be the thing that put me off like i'm fine with animation looking whatever animation looks like don't get me wrong the episode one animation compared to the pilot episode animation it's like not even a competition episode one looks better yes it does it's so much cleaner as well like yeah. don't but get me also, wrong the characters don't change too much um no no all Alistair, the characters as a character designed. she actually designed while she was in high school so that character has existed essentially yeah. for a very long time but like it is a lot cleaner it feels a lot smoother um it was baffling to me to see how like big of a jump it is yeah but if you watch hell of a boss on youtube it's also made the same jump yeah because 
she's being paid by Amazon because she's directing the show. Yeah, so yeah. she can put the money behind Hell of a Boss and keep that free, which is quite nice. Yeah. Um, that stars Brendan Rogers of YouTube, if you remember him from back in the day. Yeah, he voices nice. the main character in that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm never one to go, oh, the, the animation will be the reason I don't watch this. Because, like, the Big Les show on uh, YouTube is one of the fav- my favourite things. Yeah. Like, and that's... When I say it's animated in MS Paint, I mean it's literally animated in MS Paint. I can't remember. And you can tell that it's animated oh, in it MS Paint. My um, housemate showed me Jack Black's series about an apocalypse, and I can't remember what the actual series is called, um, but it's a Jack Black thing in very much in a similar fashion. looks like it was drawn in MS Paint. Uh, open image and new new tab. Me too. That's so so big. Um, we're gonna actually remove Ezzy's section of this now. Are you putting it on the screen? Yeah, it's on the screen. Okay. Uh, there we go. So, like, this is what the Big Les show looks like the whole time. The whole time it looks like that. It doesn't upgrade at any point, and it's still. This is season one, episode one, which is however many years old now. Twelve. It's twelve years old. Um, it's, it's a bit of quick maths. Starting here. secondary school. How <laughs> gross is that? It's like when I see things and people are like, oh, it's this old. I was like, oh, I was in school, and it still looks like that, which is cool. Yeah. No, that's that is really cool. I don't think like animation style generally like is ever a reason I've not watched something. I don't think I've ever just rejected a show outright because of the way it's been animated. Like, I don't always get on with the way Rick and Morty is animated. Yeah. Just because sometimes it's just too much happening at the same time. It gives me a headache. Quite often I'll... It can be a lot. Not Rick and Morty, but Solar Opposites. I love that show. I've rejected Solar Opposites because the way it's animated. Really? Because it's animated the same as Rick and Morty. Okay. But in like a, oh, well, they've not done anything. <laughs> they've they've got the same creator, the same, like, like a bunch of the same actors, and then they've just copied the animation style. This is the same show. Well, one of them recently like, got himself fired, but I don't yeah. know whether that's worth bothering to uh, rant we're, about on we're air. On. Well, we're he did. On. He did some questionable things to put it like yes he did and he got himself fired and they've replaced him in both shows so yeah um and i'm really i find it really interesting how both shows went about it in very different ways but you can get away with doing so can't you um i feel like solar opposites did that better i can't actually remember how the two shows did so, it because i've not caught up in quite spoiler a while. alert for everyone Dan Harmon, I think it was. I can't remember his name. Or is it the... Or No, actually, I think it was the other... I don't think it was is it, Dan Harmon. Is it the other one? It was the other one. So it was two of them wrote both shows. Yeah. Um, uh, Justin Roiland, is that's that it. Is that the new or the old one? Justin Roiland is the old one. Okay. Um, so who voices him now? Some other geezer. Um, We'll find that. I'll find that out in a second. Oh, look, another show that Keith David is in. Keith David is also in Hasbro Hotel. Random fact: ah, good. he voices a character, and I just, uh, I like his singing voice. He is also, yeah. Who voices Rick and Morty? Anyway, so Justin Roiland was the voice actor for Rick and Morty, as well as some characters, or just a character on Solar Opposites. Yes. Um. We now have. We have now, uh, in Rick and Morty, Justin has now been replaced by uh, Ian Cardo- Cardoni and Harry Belden. For Rick and Morty, For Rick respectively. and Morty, respectively. But they just do impressions of they're the original. They're decent impressions, they're really, to be fair. They're really accurate. Um, but the way they handled it in... So they just sort of didn't address it. They just went, nothing happened. We've just got different actors now. I know what are some- you going to do about it? But in Solar Opposites, what they did, they had Justin Roiland's character have a traumatic event happen to his throat, which then caused them to use this voice-changing ray on his on him so that he has an entirely different voice. He's British now. He's gone it. from sounding somewhere between Rick and Morty 
to just being a British dude and they explain it as oh yeah the like ray that they used has time travel qualities so now also in flashbacks he'll sound like the British dude I, rather than sounding American. I think what's great about um, that specifically is that lots of fans wanted them to do this in Rick and Morty, but I'm, I think they probably opted to do it in Cyber Opposites because it's not as popular as Rick and Morty. Because Rick and Morty is so much I more also, mainstream than solar opposites yeah. they were like we can get away with doing it in solar opposites but I if we do that in rick and morty it'll go differently it will partly be because if you do it in rick and morty you've got to find a way to do it for both characters which are, they've done similar things which, to yeah, before you you could do it you could find a way of doing it but i feel like most people would see through it and just go oh well they've oh cancel culture ugh, kind of thing whereas in solar opposites they've just sort of done it and yeah no one's cared whereas in this if you weren't aware of the stuff that had gone on already and you weren't aware that they had recast him you wouldn't be able to tell that they have you know i think if you pay attention there are certain inflections you can't yeah. you can't get around but i do think the two actors do a very good job at impersonating you know the original voices for Breck and morty and i have no no quarrels with the way they've gone about doing that this is interesting. Why have they called it Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice? Because uh, re- the third one will be Beetlejuice, 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 and then it'll show up. I I don't. Uh, uh, I just. I don't. Every single week. You're welcome. Burp on air. I don't know why it's called Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. There's something about it that is really grating me. It'll- Isn't this a. I've forgotten the director's name. What is. It's a. Um, it's a it's a what's it guy film that doesn't help uh beetlejuice 2 mm-hmm. um directed by tim burton it is a tim burton film yeah. there we go it was what your your question uh it was just it was just interesting to me that it was a tim burton film because it's very on brand for all of this i'm also interested in michael keaton being playing beetlejuice is quite yeah, he did, he did it the first time around. Yeah, but in my brain, it makes sense the first time around. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense the first time, but the second time, that's not on. It should just be somebody else. Um, do, do you just want the guy from the musical to do it? I... Who I'd just like to clarify, appears in episode one of Has Been Hotel. He's not just in episode one. Oh, yeah, one. no, I know. I can assume that by the fact that they sort of set Alex up. Brightman uh, is the name yeah. you're looking for. He is in Has Been Hotel. Guess what he's... Is? He's also in... Um, also in Hell of a Boss. <laughs> because apparently this man is doing side quests. This man is very busy at the moment. Yeah. He... So... And just that... He voices about three or four characters within the two shows, respectively. Because he is also Serpentius, the snake, in... See, so he voices several characters yeah, in yeah. Has Been. Has Been, yeah. He voices several characters within Hell of a Boss, and he's doing other things as well. He's in Dead End? Yes, he is. Who's he in Dead End? He's Pugsley in he Dead is. End? Yeah, he is. Oh, that's huge. I love Pugsley. But this man is, like I said, this man is very, very busy at the moment. I don't know how he has the time or the capacity to do all of that and be on stage. I just... Yeah. My voice would die. Thing is, these you can kind of, like... Or some of these, like him as Pugsley, you can almost get that done two days, and you'd be able to get through the whole season. Mm. Um, Hell of a boss, he has songs. He sings. Yeah, that's the thing. But in Hell of a Boss, has been Hotel, he's singing, and therefore that'll take two days. In like to do the song, will probably take a day, two days in itself. And not just that, because he's several characters within both shows, and they have different tones, voices, and songs. Yeah. In Has Been Hotel, he, like, I think in the first season, both of his characters sing two or three times between them. So by the time you're finishing what is only eight episodes of Has Been Hotel, he has sung four or five times because he is voicing two characters. In Hell of a Boss, he has the same issue. He's got quite a few songs because of the characters he plays. And I'm like, how does his voice function? How is this man still on stage? I do like the tone of his voice, though. I very much... I very much enjoy him. I'm not going to lie. Hey, yo. He's just got a nice voice. Some some people just do. Keith David's the same. That you'll Yeah. You'll get to a later episode and he actually sings um 
a song called Loser Baby. So if you want to go listen to it, you can do so. But he sings all the way through that, and I very much like the tone of Keith David's voice. It's just one of those people. Yeah. But he's the villain in Princess and the Frog as well. That's Keith David's. I'm glad you didn't say Alex Brightman then. No. Because I would have killed you. No. But again, this same character also has like a really nice inflection in the voice. Yeah. Because I'm odd. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to jump into another song. Um, Good. It's a, a quick one, this one. Uh, it's the script. Because, of course, we're sticking with the boy band theme. Um, anniversary as well, isn't it? It What? Of the, the... Is it the singer who died a year ago? Oh. Is, is it me? Is it me that's Someone thinking? died? I think so. Oh. I think it's the script. I could be thinking of a different a different band. Band? Uh, surely not. Um, this is the guy. No, he's still alive. There was somebody. There was someone from somewhere that died at some point. Good. Okay, let's go into this, and then we'll have worked out who it is that's died by the time we're back on. I'm going to find it. Yeah. Okay, here is if I If You Could See Me Now by the script. It's working. Perfect. Good. Mark Mark Sheehan, the lead guitarist and co-founder of the band's um, script, died last year, oh, age forty-six. Okay. Uh, actually, a year to yesterday. He's been a dead year. over a year now. Yeah. Ah, okay. uh, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, which is crazy to think about that home. he was only forty-six. That's young. Yeah. That's young. Yeah, I, I found out yesterday it had been a year since he passed away. Hmm. Ah, uh, brief illness. Yeah. That's, that's really rough, that is. Like, if it was... Um, I don't know what... What's the worst way to die? Like... I don't know. I mean, um... Mark Shepard of Supernatural mm-hmm. or rec- recently Supernatural and Firefly yeah. from back in the day. He suffered six consecutive heart attacks and survived. This was recent as well. Like, Misha Collins actually added him on Twitter and was like, you're showing off by surviving that many. No, you were unmuted and now you've been, you were muted again. Oh, well, I didn't, you didn't tell me I was unmuted. Because, funny. Oh. Well... The singer of Wanted died really? in 2020. When was this? 2020? Yeah, because he had that brain tumour, didn't he? And then they went on Strictly, like... Was that the Wanted? Yeah. Yeah. So I think you're probably getting the two mixed, because they're the same. Potentially. Vibe. I mean, it wasn't the um, singer, it was the guitarist of the script that had passed away. Yeah. No, it wasn't that one. Not that one. That one. Oh yeah. Oh, twenty twenty two. He can't have been that old either. I don't know. I don't think I'd describe. The thing is, the thing is, with the wanted. You've just gone. Oh yeah, the vocalist. They're all the vocalist. Yeah, but I just googled it, and then it says just said singer. Right. Okay. Be more but, accurate. Well, they went on strictly. Everyone didn't knows they? the wanted. Uh, a five-piece singing band. Yeah. Rather than a five-piece guitars and drums band the difference between a band and a boy band isn't it is how many of them actually play instruments nah no because you could have because you could then argue that my chemical romance are technically a boy band yeah but you yeah. wouldn't say that the beatles aren't a boy band i know it's the really be- strange, the beatles are the a beatles boy band. are the what about queen band, exactly which is why i think it's as are so the bizarre. beach boys the what beach boys queen? are a like a boy band tm and you wouldn't say that they're not a it musician like like a is it is it a genre guitarist. thing? It's the vibe, isn't it? It's yeah. just a vibe. Like you wouldn't yeah. say that Queen was a boy band. I guess it's it's weird. It's like who were they? Who is it? Like the appeal? Maybe it's like how old they were when they first became famous. 
Beatles weren't that young, were they? They were quite young. Maybe it's who, how young their fans are. I think that's more it. I yeah. think it's if they have a majoritively... That's right, you're listening to Phantom Radio. We're currently in the middle of the debate we are. of what makes a boy band a boy band we are, yeah. versus just a band of boys. Um, what, what's the difference between a boy band and a man band? <laughs> that's the... There you go, that's the best way of putting oh, it, I dear. think. I think... Because in my head, I'm like, yes, the Beatles de- are the boy band. Yeah. So that is un unarguable that they are the boy Cause, okay so for everyone who's not been watching on youtube and has just been listening um the argument is where what is basically where is the line because at first our idea was oh is it whether they play guitars and drums and stuff like that but then obviously the examples of the beach boys and busted and uh, the beatles are obviously there that then go oh well it's not that because they're all boy bands but they all play guitars and yeah, the Vans will play like their own instruments yeah, as exactly. well. But they are very much a boy but band. But they are a boy band. They are not a um, band band. Like they're not Queen. Like Queen isn't a boy band. Does but technically, the, they. But they're a band of boys. They're like, a band of boys. Yeah, but does most, the, mostly does most the of guitarist? The time. He drank yeah. occasionally. Yeah. yeah, occasionally, but <laughs> just half the off. I feel like if there was a boy band now that filled the same sort of area that that does. You wouldn't not see them in drag at some point. I think you know. I think it's really difficult because, as parents, you said, you said it was vibes. Yeah, that's really mean of you. My parents um, claim that Queen is really uncool. Well, your at, parents are wrong. At the time, apparently, like both of them said that there was one person in their year that liked Queen, and everyone like was mean to them for liking Queen. And then they did Live Aid, and then the next day everyone went into school and was like, oh, actually, you weren't that bad. And they can both name the one person that listened to Queen oh in their gosh. school. But that's just wrong. That's like... Uh, I mean, It'd be like only one person liking McFly. Not to not to just big up yeah, my favourite band. I don't know anyone from my school that liked McFly. You Neither say that. I. You say that. But if you think back to when McFly were in their prime i.e. before Queen did their Live Aid performance. Yeah. As as in Queen were in their prime before Live Aid. Oh, yeah? okay. We're, we're in agreement about this. I thought you were saying I'm, that McFly were, were in, in their, their prime, prime before Live Aid. Aid. I was like, yeah. I, was I like, doubt <laughs> it. No, no, no. So, like, Queen's prime was before Live Aid. Yeah. A few years before Live Aid, blah, 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 blah. So, everyone at the time was a fan whilst they were in their prime. Same with McFly being in their prime circa 2007 or whatever. Yeah? I would have been yeah. six. Which, yeah, I would have been six. You would have been six. You would have been like four or something. <laughs> what What year? In 2006. 2006. 2006 and seven, yeah. I was three in 2006. <sighs> See, this is the problem with the youth of today. <laughs> They don't um, know who McFly is. Someone in our comments argues that it very much depends on whether they have a fading girl fan base. Um, That's why I said. Oh, I yeah, that yeah. Was the yeah. Comment yeah. I, I think there's something really gross about the fact that boy bands are designed now to appeal to teenage girls to make them spend money, and I hate yeah. it so much. There's something about it that just doesn't... That's the same vibe as, like, K-pop. Yeah, they yeah. are invented I feel like, for teenage girls, yeah. and I think that's really strange. I feel like uh, oh, I've forgotten what the big uh, BTS BTS started off as a K-pop band and have become a boy band. They have, yeah. You get what much. I'm saying? But like they like weren't a boy Black band, Pink, and now they are. Yeah, Blackpink. Blackpink. Yeah. They are designed for teenage girls and gays. Yeah. Baby metal is just cool. They are actually. I don't cool. know what that is. They're oh. actually really funky. Um, I would suggest yeah. listening to Baby Metal. Actually, um, it was to go against like stereotypes about yeah women and all sorts. Yeah. It was. It's, it's, they're really interesting. It was around at about the same time as One Direction starting, wasn't it? Uh, I couldn't tell you. Off the top of my head. I've just clocked that our show has ended. Yes, it has. Um, <laughs> but I don't care. Yeah, you know, like, we're going to keep going, because this maybe gets recorded still. 
definitely gets recorded still. Anyway, um, I am just now queuing up the rest of the songs for the day. We are, we were meant to talk about animation. Um, we were. We did get some in there. We got some in there. We didn't talk about everything that I'd sort of planned in my head to talk about. Um, we did spend a chunk of the time arguing with the camera. So Yeah, exactly. This so is one of those fine. things. As we get to learn all of the technology a bit better, it, will, it does make it easier. It's just while we are adjusting to yeah. managing all of the technology. It'll be hard. God, anyway. these old people just can't do technology. Oh, do you want? Do you want to try it? <laughs> huh? Do you think you could do? You this get to than hide this? out in the other <laughs> studio. Do you want to stay there? Or yeah, you sit there. You press no buttons. You occasionally put your microphone down in the wrong direction that makes the whole thing scream. <laughs> no one told me. Yeah. Uh-huh. I was sure. trying to. I was trying to fix it when Feedback. I did that, though. To be fair. Yeah. I was. I was moving USBs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. So. <laughs> you had to ring Sky. I did have to ring Sky. Yeah, but Sky fixes everything. Exactly. Big up Sky. Sky fixes everything. Yeah. Sky, we, we love you. We do love Sky. We do love Shout Sky. Shout out so to Sky much. for being fantastic. Um, There's no JLS queued. No, there isn't any JLS queued. That's a good point. We'll give you some JLS. Thank you. Oh, we actually do have JLS. Yes. Um, what Not song shot. do you want? The one about. Oh, any of them to be honest. A JLS song. Name name any of them, and I'll pl- I'll play if if it's one of the six we have. Oh, the if one about being on the the dance floor. That doesn't help me at all, unless it you unless could it's be called the dancer, and I'll be the dance floor. What, what? what, what JLS song? <laughs> I'll let you, you stand on me. Yeah. That's <laughs> what what J- what JLS songs have you got? So we've got <laughs> proud, uh-huh. hottest girl in the world. Take a chance on me, billion lights, and everybody in love. Ooh, everybody in love is a classic. I think the yeah. one I was thinking of is hottest girl in the world. Okay. Are we'll you going to put that. your um, designated? Of course, it's, it's, already, it's right, already there. It's right there. It's right there, waiting. Um, we've queued that up for a bit. Uh, anyone got a mild? Ooh, have we got another hour scheduled in by accident? <laughs> I think we do. Oops. There's an accidental extra hour of film talks scheduled. That um, we don't need. Enjoy do, it. Don't need. Do we want to? Should we? we Should we push for an extra half hour? Or do you want to get home? <laughs> it's like... I don't know. I haven't gone that far. <laughs> Fair. Um, it's a Monday evening. I'm, I'm tired. I'm, yeah. <laughs> I've got so week. much cleaning to do because my landlord is sending around people to view the house tomorrow and I'm not happy. I've had wet washing in the machine for over a week now. That's super gross. I'm not going to lie. That is I grim. get it. I do understand it, though. I do forget. But I live with too many people, so I physically can't. <laughs> you I'm think terrified. Jack Thomas does his washing? <laughs> I'm like You're scared. outing people. You're full <laughs> naming outing people here. Yeah. I'm, like, scared to, like, live alone because I will just forget it exists. No, it's- he just does all his washing in one day. Yeah. Every, like, the same. three weeks. I... I do the same way. I do I'll the same. just do all of it in one. I I'll do it. I'll either do it all in one day or over two days. The fact that my error hasn't on... collapsed is a miracle because yeah. I literally just load it to the full <laughs> and just leave it in a hallway and pull things off it when it dries. And I'm like, I'm wearing that today, which yeah. is why nothing goes back in my wardrobe because well, it's in the wash bag or on my error. <laughs> my problem is that my error has my because I did two loads of washing, so I came back from holiday. So I put a wash on and then I put it to dry. And then I put the second wash on and then I haven't put the clean clothes away because my room is so messy right now. Yep. Ethan just burped on there. No, I Good. didn't. <laughs> I heard it. it. Happened. <laughs> nope. You can't pretend it didn't. <laughs> yes, it can. No. <laughs> it's been recorded. It has been recorded and yeah. streamed. Yeah. We're going to replay that for the next hour. Yeah. <laughs> just a sound of me burping yeah. really quietly on air. <laughs> what we will do is we all jump in we'll, we'll we'll jump into some jls yes uh and then we'll come back after the break cool <laughs> here is hottest girl in the world Me. by jl no <laughs> don't big up yourself like that mm. awful uh here it is oh see the thing is with JLS that I've found yeah is the actual production of the music 
is not as good as it seemed at the time. It's it's as very in, nostalgic though, isn't like, it? Listening to JLS it's, from I had a JLS it's, pencil case. It, it could all very much do with a re-recording. Do you want to join us in here? Yeah. Uh, there you go. Come on through. Unbanished from... Hello. Hey. I had a JLS pencil case. Okay, um, pick one of these two over here. Okay. See, if we'd started like this, it would have been so much easier. Um, do you mind just doing us a... Hold on. Quick mic check. Quick mic. That one. Yep. Pull it close to you. Ra- rather than putting yourself close to it, sit back in your chair. Oh, yeah, but it's clearly attached to my computer. No, it's not. Not anymore. Not for long. But not for long. I love him. Yeah. I... I watch wrestling and very specifically i really want him to narrate a wrestling match but it has to be like a has to be like a really big wrestling match with like like when they've got the massive match with like 10 yeah. people in all at once like i would love to see him narrate like wow narrate. a big a big wrestling event because narrate? there's something narrate <laughs> <laughs> you said it you said it like three times i was like no. the first time mm, is a mistake yeah i can't <laughs> There we go. We're all on the screen now. Fantastic. My lace is undone. That's just embarrassing, isn't it? For you. Can I have a sip? Please? No. Also, I still need you to do this mic check. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. Just speak well, for I a bit. I was speaking for ages. I was yeah, laughing even saying like narrowly. Like properly. I am. Okay. We'll work. Yeah, they, you're probably fine. Yeah. Probably fine. <laughs> Thanks. Do you want to know is, what the, the worst... This is not the song that I thought it was. That's fine. Well, it is the one you've got. Mm. Deal with Should've it. Should have done... Everybody in love, yeah. put your hands up. If you're in love, put I your can, hands up. I can feel the music videos, like, in my brain. Yeah. JLS is one of those people. It's very nostalgic. For every minute's like an hour. Every hour's like a day. Every day lasts forever. So what else am I gonna do? Do you know what's really been annoying me recently? Me. Me. Yes. Um, to both <laughs> of those. Every time we have any communication. Um, it's Virgin Media. Because... Did they reply to your letter? They've replied to my letter. They've cancelled my... So, a few months... So, I moved out of my previous house in, you? like, June. You did. Um, I messaged them in July... Like, late July, early August kind of thing. Because mm. I... W- I wasn't the only one living in the house. Everyone else was staying until July. Um, and then, don't wear my hoodie. Stop stealing my hoodie. Take it off. You can't just take my hoodie and be like, but I'm cold. But it's my favourite. But that's you a problem. You were a third of the way through stealing it. And that's anyway, you may as well just put on. we're getting back on air now. But I've got a branded coach. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, you've got a branded coat. Well done. <laughs> you didn't have to explain it over the top of what we were listening to. Sorry. Oh, it's only on the little Jeez. short things. Yeah, shocking from you. You were having a rant. Yeah, Virgin Media. Um, a few months ago, I for, so August, I I messaged them going, "I want to cancel my package, please." Thanks. They don't cancel my package. September, I messaged them going, can I cancel my package? They don't cancel my package. Blah, 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 blah. Um, February, like, keeps going for a few months. February time, was it? Probably. Write a letter to them. Go in, cancel my package. Do not try to sell me anything more. Because every time that I'd try and cancel my package, they'd go, oh, we can't do that. But we can offer you this one instead. They always do that. Though. And then they'd offer me one that's twice as expensive as the yep. one I'm currently on. It was on. the day before Valentine's Day. Um, that would be the 13th of February. The 13th of February. Yeah. I emailed my father to yeah. print off a letter. <laughs> and um, he said it was very good. Yeah. But, so we send this off. They then cancel the next payment good. that goes out. Um, cool, sweet, nice. I've had a message from them recently going, oh, we're in the area at this time. Can we come collect the box? And it's like, I've not lived at this house 
for almost nine months, if not nine months at this point. And they're expecting... You've had a child since. Like, hypothetically, I could have had a child since. (laughs) And they're expecting me to just have this Wi-Fi box for a house that I moved out of a month before anyone this, else in the house. Is this the one that I think it is? The, the one that's sat on top of the wall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The living room? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's its room? Yeah. It's exactly that one. I think we left it there because I it's helped them move out. Yeah, I it's been left it. there. They've done renovations on the house. Yeah, that, yeah, that room sh- doesn't exist that anymore. That room does <laughs> not exist. The entire house out, yeah. The, I know, because like, I still park there sometimes. Like... I walk past it occasionally and I'm like, oh, there's the bathroom. <laughs> it's on the side of the street. Yeah. Great. Yeah, like this house barely exists anymore and they're, they're messaging me going your two options are return the return the box to us the box that i don't have yeah um and say that like say that you're available on wednesday um or say that we've got the wrong address and it's like well it's neither of those things <laughs> the box doesn't the exist. box doesn't exist anymore you are too slow also they charge us way too much money to justify needing the box back at the end yeah, you know they don't they don't spend that much money on making the boxes. They, surely they wouldn't reuse the like, box. They'd probably uh, that's just the thing. dispose of it. They like. don't reuse the box either. No, they don't. It just gets disposed of, and it'll get disposed of the exact same way that they just dis- that you dispose of it by putting it in a black bin. It just goes into a landfill somewhere. Yeah, like it's not getting recycled into Unless another they, like, piece of tech. Take all of the nice nah, metals. It won't. They won't. They they will literally just take it and throw they it in should. the bin. But they they should, and they should. Hypothetically, they should reuse everything that they can. They should send that box out to someone else, but they won't. They hundred percent won't. Because it'd be scuffed. Yeah, like it's just very frustrating. Because there's no way. Because especially because it's a text bot that they're sending me these messages through. It's not an actual person sending the messages. It's like literally a reply with correct if we can come collect it or reply with address if we've got the wrong address and it's like my biggest aggro at the moment i had this with the gp earlier i'm really sick and not talking to human beings when i have to contact a service or book an appointment or anything please just let me talk to a human being yeah if i have to try and give like all of my details to a robot that can't understand a word that i'm saying i'm gonna lose my mind i got like two parking tickets so that's like nearly 200 quid how did you get parking tickets where did you park parking i parked at the car park that i'd been parking at for like since i moved into this house it was last year's house um in like july slash then september Mm. i parked in the car park that was on my side of the road right which and then there was another car park on the opposite side of the road from the same company so you have to do it on the app right and i was pressing this is it was like you're in this car park so i was like okay and then paying for the parking and then they were like uh no you put in the wrong code and i was like i didn't put in a code you told me which car park i was in so i paid right and they sent me this like these two things and then i was trying to talk to this bot for like 12 hours and i kept saying well, this is what I've got. And they were like, we don't know. Yeah. And then I was like, can I'm- I talk to someone real? And they were like, I'm a real person. It's like, no, you're not. No. Yeah. The, the, annoying, the annoying thing about them is it's so easy to just get someone to man the phones. You know, you've got all these companies who operate scams going... There are clearly people. That there's clearly yeah. people who's yeah. willing to sit and just talk on the phone all day. There's such an unemployment yeah, situation this year. Unemployment. Like, that, like, you could just hire an extra person, pay the minimum wage, because at the end of the... Course like, exist. no offence. Yeah. No offence. The job of sitting at a phone and taking calls all day is so much easier than so many jobs that do get minimum wage. Yeah. Like, not to be, like oh, my job's so hard. But being a bartender is so much harder than sitting at a phone all day and yeah. answering calls. As long as you're given the processes, like, because they, they also outsource a lot of it now, don't they, as well? But also, like, sitting and answering calls, it'll be the same pe- Like, it'll be people calling for the same problem. You've basically just got to have a script. Thanks. You're welcome. Like, um, you're going to be saying I'm the same thing over again oh, okay. as well. Fair probably because you moved everything to be at a different height for you earlier and now you just not move it back. everything just be taller 
That too, yeah. <laughs> I would very much like to be taller, but I'm I'm just not. Get stilts. I, no. <laughs> get a booster seat for one minute. Yeah, yeah, sit on a cushion. <laughs> we get a booster um, seat. One of my friends, when she was learning to drive, she had to have a cushion and move the seat as far forward as possible and move the steering wheel back so that she could then move further forward to reach the pedals. My driving instructor was actually shorter than me i have to embarrassing when i have to put a seat back in a car to give myself room to sit in i'm like you're too short how do you cope yeah. it's like she would spend every one of my lessons complaining about the fact that whenever we drove anywhere and there was sun the visor does nothing and i'm like wear sunglasses See, I I'm, do... I'm sat driving your car wearing sunglasses it is okay <laughs> i do have that problem with the visor even though i'm not like that small I just think quite small. I know people who have the opposite problem that if they put that down because they are taller, it, it blocks. blocks the road. <laughs> Why are they in cars? What is the point? I can understand it from the point of view of there's a mirror on it, but I but can't understand. But there isn't understand. on the driver's side. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't get it because, like, realistically, it doesn't actually do that much. Not as mm. much as just a pair of sunnies work, it would does work. Quite a lot. Yeah. But like for a very niche period of time, why put yeah. an extra thing <laughs> in your car? Yeah. Sometimes, anyway. oh, I oh, know. Go, go on, okay. go on. Sometimes go on. I forget that my mum's driven my car. It doesn't happen anymore because she's not insured on it. But in my old car, I'd forget that she'd driven it, and then I'd get halfway to Derby and get a really bad cramp in my hip because, because of where she moved everything. Because of the way that my my legs were, yeah, it really hurt. That was worth it. Yeah, it was worth it. No, sorry, because I've now forgotten what I was going to say. <laughs> you have thoughts. No, that's the problem. <laughs> Such a hard life. I'm currently really frustrated by the air conditioner thing that we have in here that yeah. will randomly just wake up just, and yeah, just it goes. screams at us and then stops working again. Yeah. And it's like, it's cooled down enough to not have it on. Turn it off then. I don't know how. You red red, red, red thing. Turn it. turn it. The big red thing. The big yeah. red thing. Yeah. It does look like an emergency stop of some Anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. There you go. Problem solved. Oh, gosh. There you go. We had so many arguments when we were playing Uno because my mum kept getting confused. Which had... way round we were going. Oh, right, okay. Oh, I was going to say, how how are you confused by Uno? Yeah, you just <laughs> it's colours or card. numbers, that's yeah. it. It's... Oh. But like clockwise, anti-clockwise, fair enough. It's, yeah. like, the, it's like giving anyone instructions. I, I fear my like the whole left and right thing. <clears throat> um, It's the whole make an L doesn't work for me. No. I, I, it, they're both L's. I like I know logistically they're not, but yeah. dyslexia says they're both L's. I get confused L's. Um, when I'm driving and there's a, like no entry thing and I can't tell if it's the right way up or not mm. when it's written on the floor. Mm. It just <laughs> so see. I just, I just know my lefts and rights. You just know. I just know. I, I only know because I know I am left-handed and therefore that way is left. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. Yeah, no, and I that have is to how pretend to pick up a pen. I have to go, if I was going to pick up a pen, mm. which, which, which hand would I use? That's the the right. only way I cope is because it's the, the same reason I dislike driving is that I have to take my dominant hand off the wheel and yeah. there's something about it that makes me really uncomfortable. Yeah. You should move to America. To America. Yeah, get or out. just Europe. buy an American car. Or literally anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> my mum said that everywhere we could do up an old Fiat 500 because they don't come in right, right hand drive. Right hand drive. Yeah. They only Panic come in left hand drive. What an old Fiat. Yeah. How old? See, it'd be fine. As in the one that you're going to do up. Oh, okay. You could still drive that in the UK. Yeah. My mom it would be fine to. until you needed to go through a drive through and then you don't. <laughs> well, my yeah. mum yeah. mom had a friend who had a left hand drive. Yeah. Left hand drive car, and she had a litter picker for multi story car parks. It's quite oh good. God, you'd to have press to, the wouldn't you? Yeah. And then get it out. Weird things that I don't think. If about. you just have an ironing board in there, you're good for drive-through. <laughs> you just, <laughs> you just you roll slide down the window. Out. <laughs> you just slide it out. And you go. What? My mum's brother. Oh, that's weird to look at. What? Um, hold on. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm at... I just said that exactly the same time. Hold on, I'm going to show you this. Okay, I'm looking. Going to show them all it. Oh god. Although they can. Oh god, that's really not helped them. It's actually um we're gonna oh you got rid of me yeah get rid of you hold on desk only it's just me now okay if i go like this or some it okay yeah look at look at the phantom film on phantom thing sometimes it just goes to a different purple 
and it's just not doing it now that I'm trying to demonstrate <laughs> that it does it. it, it oh, yeah. that, oh, I did you see, it. You see how it did it for a second? It, nothing's changing on this screen. The screen is staying the same. The screen oh. is staying exactly the same. I assume it's the colour difference between like your jumper and the thing, maybe? Like the camera's reacting or something? Maybe, but... The it's the same colour as the top. Yeah. yeah, 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 it changes to a more accurate representation yeah. <laughs> of what this colour is. Because that looks blue. Because this looks blue, whereas it's, to us it is very much... It is purple. Purple. All like, of our branding is purple. Uh, the borders on this are the same colour as what this should be. Actually, better reference, that is the colour it should be. <laughs> that's the exact colour it should be, because that's the exact image we're showing. But you get it as this, which is basically blue. So... Why wouldn't it do it now? That's just frustrating, isn't it? This is where it also doesn't come through on the stream. Um, so yeah, we just, just sound like crazy people. We're just like, going we waved mental. Your hands around. Um, oh, I did it. It's doing it. Oh, stop. Was it? It, 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 it did a little bit, yeah. Yeah. But it's literally for no reason other than... There we go. If I get a bit too close to it, it goes... Purple. I imagine it's just the camera adjusting, I guess. I don't... It's literally that. Yeah. There you go. How bizarre. Why? Why does it do that? You're so distracted. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't Go get on. to tell my ironing board story. Uh, anyway, ironing boards, you throw it out the window and you get your <laughs> McDonald's onto it. You pull the whole thing back in and then you eat it. I think it'd be really go. funny as someone who used to work at McDonald's to make them suffer by getting a litter picker and just... <laughs> Out from the window. The drinks. And they're like trying to get you to park up, and you're like, nah. <laughs> but we had some like weird solutions to problems when I was like working in McDonald's on the drive through because like we'd have people come through with dogs in the back of their car and be like, oh, um, yeah, just chuck the food at me. I'm gonna give all of the the animals this. Like they'd literally buy the unseasoned burger patties, and this guy would come through basically every morning to buy his breakfast the unseasoned burger patties chuck them in the back for the oh dog so he could eat his breakfast in That's peace good. and he did it every single morning one time I was watching like police interceptors and they had a drugs dog and it was like a little tiny cock spaniel and it had a cheeseburger every morning jeez <laughs> but then obviously like it was working all day so it would burn it off but do you watch the police interceptors regularly not anymore but I, I yeah I would advise find it on because you know all of it's finished now yeah um, you'll be surprised how many places in that show you've been. Uh, most of it is filmed in Derbyshire. Yeah. Oh my god, no traffic cops. Um, oh no, it was it was like a body cam squad um, had had our exams officer from Frankfurt. <laughs> and then now, because um, my mum is in the same trust as the school that she's exam yeah, officer yeah. for, my mum, like we were in Sainsbury's the other day and she was like, hey, hey, that woman over there. That's the exams also that was on <laughs> Body Cam Squad. Um, I there's also that uh, Gordon Ramsay show. Uh, Which one? The the one where he goes to really bad kitchens. Hell, oh, ki Gordon Ramsay's Kitchen Nightmares. Kitchen Nightmares. That's it. Is that way he tries Love to fix it. like the there pubs is, and restaurants. And when yeah, they've yeah. always got like cockroaches and their fridges don't work. There is a flat, not a flat. I was thinking about um, our friend Tom Merson. Tom Merson. Uh, friend of my old show F friend of the radio there we go um, friend of the radio yeah. as a whole <laughs> um, he used to live about a three minute walk from a restaurant that was on oh, Kitchen Nightmares whoa. and that like in I Derby I was only in America no 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 in, <laughs> he did in so Derby UK once. Oh. Um, it's so imagine you're walking up towards Lidl not yeah. Lidl well yeah go to Lidl yeah. then walk up the street towards Aldi yeah up that hill up the hill towards Lucy's yeah you go around the roundabout yeah, yeah. past past that yeah to the roundabout straight over the roundabout so you're now at M&S yes yep you're going towards the train you're station at the back end of M&S and then you walk down towards the train station and you just walk past the train station I think I think I might have gone too far <laughs> do you mean the M&S that's in the train station yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure no, that oh, oh, actually, no, I know exactly Matt where Adam. it is. I know exactly where it is. So you're at the M&S. This means the nothing end, for everyone out of Derby. The back end of the M&S, there is a roundabout. Mm -hmm. You go right off the roundabout, not as if you're going to the train station, but towards Aldi. You There is then a roundabout that you take a left on. If you keep walking down that road in a straight line, 
you will see a restaurant that is entirely boarded up and that restaurant was on Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> we have to bear in mind that the Audi that you're talking about, I used to attempt to go to every two weeks and it took me 20 minutes to drive there. It took me 30 minutes to walk yes, there in first year and I got lost I'd walk every it. single time. So you problem. With Do better. maps up, got lost. I think what's... Just literally just drive there. <laughs> Simple. I think what's really interesting about like the Kitchen Nightmares and stuff is like looking where those places are now and like whether they're still open. Yeah. I f- find most of them are probably shut. There was but a- the problem with them isn't the restaurant, it's the owner. Yeah. Yeah. And like he doesn't go in there and change the owner. No. You can't. There's not like that's There's no way you can. There was one where the guy it was it was an English pub and it might be the best episode of the show that I've ever seen because he went into the kitchen and he was like the guy was in like his sixties and still trying to run it when he should have been like In care. <laughs> <laughs> no, he should have been doing it's the business living. side with his wife, but instead was still actively doing things. Uh, he was like, okay. you, you're an owner, you don't need to be doing this, you have staff for a reason. So he, like, works with the staff, the line managers, the waiters and everything, to try and get it sorted. But the guy hoarded plates. Like, he had loads and loads of plates for loads of different types of meals and stuff. And, <laughs> and Gordon Ramsay literally pulls out, like, these square plates or these plates that would separate different yeah. dishes. And he was like, why have you got these? He went, well, I wanted to do this. He went are you using them no these are still wrapped these are still in boxes <laughs> donate these and he literally forces him to take hundreds of plates to these various donations does and anyone else's grandparents cafes. just have plates in the like in the ceiling in the ceiling, ceiling? no not in the ceiling but like hung on the wall hung on, on display the wall. yeah is, on display is that, yeah. no that, that's a posh people thing both my grandmothers my no, my nan's not posh my grandma is my exactly. my grandma collects Swarovski crystals, which I think is step up from China wow. plates in it. Yeah, my been, mom, right? My been, mom. This was so rude. We just out in people. This is fine. Just <laughs> my, on YouTube now. My mom. She was at like Christmas or something. She was like, "Oh, I can always tell um, which which uh, like thing is from your parents and which is from my parents because mine have got the." the like silver hallmark because it's solid silver and yours are all <laughs> silver plated <laughs> and we were like mother that's rude <laughs> it's not necessary it's awful she was like your parents always get something and then a few years later my my parents well not my, my her mom um will get like a silver plate like a, sil- yeah. a solid silver version or something like that awful <laughs> so unnecessary <laughs> i christmas stress she didn't out. mean it in like, like a mean way but that's but, awful but like yeah. she said it and then she realized like it was quite funny i i've got one set of plates and one set of bowls and i'm never gonna like get better bowls or plates than i've I got will, i, I will not get better bowls or plates than i've got however i have had to buy an entire new set of cutlery since I've been at university yeah. because it all just got. I I really, I bought, I really need to get on I this. I need to a get a new, new set, set of cutlery. cutlery. You've I, got so much cutlery. No. You need n- new knives. No, I need new forks. I've got loads of knives oh. and I've got loads of spoons. I need more teaspoons and more forks. I and literally that's came it. to uni with a four pack of metal straws and I've only got one. I, I came with a bunch of camping uh, that's, forks. Why am I not sharp? Because the, <laughs> oh. the, the only person that would use them were well i came with the whole set of camping forks and knives and everything which the only people who'd use those were the ones you have now. The, the blue ones yeah? yeah those are all camp those are what we use match Chris's. yeah the ones that are the same as my flatmates yeah um we'd only use those when we went camping and it was only ever me and my dad who'd go camping so given that i now live here and not in cardiff where it's nice and easy to get to where we're camping in um I just have those knives and forks now. I'm getting messages. Um, I don't know who. So am I. Oh, it might just be you getting messages. It, yeah, my phone hates me. Nice. Um, but yeah, um, so I came with those and all the cutlery that my sister took to uni. The grey ones. The grey ones. And I came with quite a few forks and they've all disappeared. I have none of them I, now. Right. But it's not even like I've lived with enough people that have similar enough thing. No. The only... The only people I've lived with with similar cutlery is my current flatmate who has almost identical f- uh, everything to me because um, the blue s- the blue ones are the same shape except for mine are ribbed and his aren't. That is the only difference. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... If, if I were I'm to gonna... show you the knives and forks, you'd know exactly what I mean there. 
I, but I, I think can't what just really grates me out. the most is that I I got for Christmas, my grandparents went, what do you want for Christmas? And I went, the only thing I need from you is I need a new set of knives because I needed new knives to cook yeah. with. It was appalling. You couldn't get my knives through peppers anymore. It was so bad. Don't look at me like that. And I needed new cutlery. And I asked for those two things. I'm already missing. Ben, my we're what, in April? Yeah. Just about. I'm not. I'm not here. Just about in April. I have already lost two forks. And I'm like, <laughs> I literally got them for Christmas. So yeah. they didn't come back into Derby until January, like closer yeah, to yeah, January. Yeah. And they were just... They're just gone. Just gone. I've only got one spoon, but I can't remember if I brought more spoons with me. Anyway, I just raided the cutlery drawer and picked the ones I liked. But now I go home and there's no cutlery that I like. Anymore. No, I bought I bought. Oh, sets. wow. What I a surprise. A when you set. take the cutlery that you like, there's none of the cutlery that you like. <laughs> Shocking. This is why I bought... I bought, like, a box set of, like, four, four bowls, four plates, four... And it came with cutlery and glasses and everything. And I have acquired not stolen acquired quite a few glasses since being at university don't know how that's happened <laughs> oh, yeah wow. uh, i've also acquired a fair few glasses quite recently my housemate knocked Bad. one off the side and it broke and they were like i can replace it i'm like no it's fine i will just acquire another one when i first went to uni i bought two wine glasses and they were 50p and then uh one of my housemates dropped one on the floor and then one exploded in my hand that was traumatic no, one of them broke, one of them got dropped, so I bought two more, and they were like 75p or a pound each. Mm. Like, they were so much more expensive. Um, and then since then, I now only have one, because one of them exploded on my hand. And that was upsetting, wasn't it? I don't have a that wine That happened glass. to me at work I, I don't once. drink wine. I say that. I've got a bottle of wine in the fridge at home. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I don't drink wine. I'm lying. They're just, they're just... I do. Why you say that, I don't drink wine, and I think I've got like three or four bottles of wine at home just waiting oh like, it will get got, drunk eventually yeah but i've got a bottle of red in my what cutlery drawer uh, it's a chianti yeah, yeah that's my favorite bought it to go into a spag bulb that i never made <laughs> i was like where is this going um, what is it going then in i've got a bottle of rosé on that's what i've got in the fridge on, yeah, the wee one. on the side that uh we won a quiz you won. Uh, I won because I came up with the name. Yeah. Realistically, um, <laughs> it was it was the prize for best name at the quiz, um, and I made a pun. It was rigged. What? What was the? Um, what was the I name? can't say it on air. Okay. <laughs> uh, is the honest truth. You. I will be asking you after this though. Yeah. Because I fine. don't think I, I knew I what the. Yeah. Yeah. It was um, a guy's name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pun based on the. It's a very boring pun based on the famous physicist Neil deGrasse Tyson. Okay. Oh, I remember. You, okay. yeah, yeah, we've all worked out what yes. what naughty <laughs> word I've put in the middle of yes. his name. Yeah, um, yeah. And I assume you've got a bottle uh, of white. If you've I've also, got, yeah, it? <laughs> there, yeah, you've got a rose. There's potentially a bottle of white somewhere. I hate white. Or oh, potentially yeah. did, did a second you buy a bottle, bottle of white for my mom. Did you give it to her? Yeah, I think oh, I did. I like white wine, but I cook with white wine. White wine tastes like paint stripper. Yeah, but I drink seafood, so it goes really nice in sauces. When yeah, you drink them out. seafood. I eat seafood. <laughs> I drink wine. I eat seafood, but I I like the you can buy a pack of frozen mussels pre pre done in sauce from like a little Aldi for like a fiver. Pan white wine cheese done. Yeah. You know, and then it's just food. And I added way too much white wine the last time I did it. My because... mum came home today and she was like, oh, I've... Well, not today, yesterday. She was like, I've bought you some white vermouth instead of sherry to put in your risotto. <laughs> and I thought, thank you, mother. Sometimes you, like, put... Posh. Sometimes you put alcohol in... <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you put alcohol in food, though you know there's alcohol in your food and you it's just too much. You have to cook it much. off. You're not yeah. cooking it off enough. You have to go... <laughs> and if you aren't getting drunk from the fumes, then it's uh, all cooked off. Yeah, 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 sure. If you go like, and then you're like, whoa, then that means that you need to cook it for longer. I think it's funnier to just drink, drink the yeah, white wine. To, to eat it with alcohol in it. That's, That's the better way of doing it. That's why you go, oh, I need to buy a bottle of wine so that I can have risotto. <laughs> risotto has like one glass. <laughs> yeah, and then you've got another four in the bottle. You've either got yeah, four risottos. Drink. Well, it depends. <laughs> Actually, it depends what measurement you go for. If you're going for a small or a large, maybe a medium. I'm just going... Yeah. See, um, I don't understand the like wine glass measurements. Every so, other type of alcohol, so, I understand. Wine is the weird one because it is always cheaper to buy the bottle. 
Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 It's always cheaper to buy the bottle. So at work, we sell a bottle of just house rosé or house white for like sixteen pounds something. Oh, the markup on that's extreme. Um, <laughs> Imports. Yeah. It's not. Really it's cheap. not that bad. Imagine you're buying it from like Lidl or something. Their worst wine is probably what 14 12 their 14 their cheapest wine is about 6 it's quid pretty, oh okay yeah. that's pretty decent or like 3 for like the fruity mixed ones yeah depends on where you're going like the yeah, fake yeah. Echo Falls that's like 3 pounds oh wow that's decent Echo Falls used it's to be about 4 quid it's no, no, no. absolutely disgusting yeah 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 but in terms of a price yeah um but so our bottle is 16 ish it's not too bad for the like but sort yeah. of generic house rosé or house white but I bet it's quite a nice one. Because, it's, it is quite yeah. nice. You don't work at Spoons. So. No, yeah, exactly. Um, Where they only have one wine, like one of each. Yeah, and it's all grim. It's definitely disgusting. Not um, but anyway, and then our small glass of each is like four quid something, um, which would make it an insane price if you were doing like small, small glasses, glasses and you get through a whole bottle yeah. you're you're costing yourself so much money there a large glass is five pound fifty which is double the size of a small glass for a pound for an f- extra for a pound and like 20p or something you're still you're still easier buying the bottle you're still better off buying the bottle because yeah. you're getting about but that's because people don't want to be seen to be buying a bottle yes like that's tim, the thing. tim from bellwin he gets through probably two bowls when we go to the mm. bird hide he buys it by the glass but also he doesn't buy it because we do rounds we don't yeah. even do rounds we just but do I don't... put it all together and then yeah, yeah, whoever yeah. gets there first I away. was on a night out with somebody who wanted to buy a bottle of wine and I don't drink wine but they still bought I sat with a cider but they still bought over two glasses yeah. so that they didn't feel bad <laughs> <laughs> about the fact that they were drinking a bottle of wine when and we I was just going Portugal. to the bar to get yeah, yeah when ciders. we went to Portugal like Pretty much every night, I would drink rosé, my mum would drink white, and my dad would drink red. And then one night, we all had rosé and we just bought a bottle. And it's like, why don't you just... Because you know that I don't, I'm not going to drink white, and that mum's not going to drink red. Can't yeah. we just get rosé every time? It would make more sense, but also, no. Uh, we're going to kick into another song. We really should... Should... Because it is like... Yeah, it's getting quite late. It um, is getting quite late, and we're so beyond film talk at this stage. I yeah, think we <laughs> almost do need to go home. We're on food talk. Food talk now. Anyway. Food talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're going to... Are we, are we finishing? We probably should do. Okay. Because we're getting to wow. closer to nine o'clock. Okay, in that case, we'll I'll, I'll switch around the order that these songs are going to come out in. Because you're definitely putting McFly on first. Because I'm absolutely putting McFly on first. <laughs> Um, as if you were expecting me to put anything else on first. Can we cue everybody in love? Uh, fine. <laughs> JLS. There you go. Monoskin is not a boy band. No, because it's got a woman in it. Um, actually, there is a debate to be had about one of the songs that's going to come up. And that is My is Universe. It not it's Bird's Eye Peas. What are they called? Black, Black Eye Peas. Um, <laughs> not a boy band. So, the one that I'm talking about is Coldplay... And BTS. That's are they boy, two boy like, bands? Is it two boy bands? Because I don't think Coldplay, Coldplay are a boy are a band. band. Coldplay. I think they're just a band. They're now. just a band now. Like because like, young girls don't listen to them. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. My aunt went to Coldplay concert. I, I went to a Coldplay like, take concert. The, how about take that boy that's, band? That's a boy Still band. Still a boy band. Uh, th- are yeah, they even prime, now? They, they were, were they were a boy band in their prime. Are you I, arguing? And then that, I think they used to be they now a boy band. Are McFly still a boy band? I don't know. Because I'd argue that McFly still are. I think even that though their most recent band, album is a lot a more band. like band like. You know, like rock I think it band, depends on vibes you know? as well. Yeah. I just Yeah, yeah, in their prime definitely. What about but, Oasis? But, no, Oasis is just band. a band. Uh, like Oasis how is just genres two dudes. are so easy to like clarify, yeah. and others were like maybe, maybe who knows? Because <laughs> take that were definitely a boy band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because take that were like take yeah, that they, and no, Backstreet they, yeah. Boys they were, were. Yeah, they were kind of the one direction. Matters to me. Yeah, yeah. 
But they've all done solo. St- they were the One Direction of a different generation. Yeah, exactly. Let's be real. But like, somebody's no, going to get so angry. I've no, compared those two bands. No, that's, no, that I mean, is dead true. accurate. Yeah. I'd say that saying that take that are the previous version of One Direction is probably the most accurate. Have we have we heard my dad's story about take that? Uh, no. About Gary Barlow. But I've just got. Can I just finish my thought and take that a second? Because <laughs> yeah. you've got a five-piece boy band. Yes. Where one of them li- left. Yes. And then the whole band broke up. And then they did solo stuff. And then they've done yeah. solo stuff. Which, which one left One Direction first? Zayn. So you had five-piece band. Yeah. Um, then Zayn and or Robbie left, kind just of thing. Robbie. Then they then that one did solo stuff whilst everyone else still made music as the band then the whole band broke up and did solo stuff of their own the only difference is take that then reformed Mm -hmm. and then also got robbie back in for an album one direction have reformed but they've not managed to get yeah they did one direction haven't reformed they've done stuff together collectively as a band they exist not since going we're done as McFly, uh, not as McFly as, <laughs> oh as One Direction. What, yes, re- what would you do? recently One Direction well, they did. were doing things like as a when group. fairly recently. I'm gonna have to Google this in a minute. Fact check. Yeah. Can I tell about my dad's story? Yeah. Yeah. So my dad, right, basically made take that <laughs> caps locks uh, because um, Gary Barlow was busking with a piano and there was a load of old like nans watching him and really enjoyed it and my dad was like i tell you what mate you need to get yourself some mates and start a band and then you'll be really successful and then he was i still don't think that that story is true yeah i know me me neither right none of us do because we also bought him a signed copy of gary barlow's uh autobiography is it autobiography if gary barlow wrote it himself yeah, yes yeah and he signed it um gary barlow or yeah your gary dad? barlow <laughs> gonna get my dad to sign it as well and uh he's not mentioned in it there's no mention of a charles yeah there's no mention of anyone uh i think uh, there's only one of them that didn't come back i'm sure i've seen music videos of them all singing together how recently are we talking because if we're talking like 10 years ago recently no no, far more recently than that uh unless i've completely lost the plot i swear to there's a swear. few rumours of like a reunion tour. Have I gone completely loopy? Oh, there's there's some stuff where like Harry's been on tour and he's done One Direction songs no, on tour. No, no, group of them. The like all, like all five Have of them. You know, or just too long missing on the like just, Harry just Styles this. TikTok with all of them. I don't think so. I don't think I'm even on Harry Styles TikTok to be honest. I was for a bit. And I it took me so long to work out what H slot was. <laughs> What's it mean? Love on tour. Well done. Um, I only clocked it when someone just wrote Harry Styles Love on tour. And then I was like, oh my God, that's H slot. Yeah. That's what everyone's been talking about. Uh, well, I'll pull up this one. No, we want you over here. There we go. We can now see you on the commentary thing now. Um. Yeah. No. All this article is saying is that last year there were some rumors of a reunion tour, but it's never actually happened. Um. So I th- I think I must have gone loopy. Yeah. Very much so. Um. Like I know that Harry and Niall have like spoken and been seen together. Yeah, I know that they've been seen together. But, like, that's also just... I bet that got blown up. People yeah. have been saying that they're dating... Like, the different members of Wandy yeah. were dating each other for yeah. a very long but it's time. Always, it's always Harry and someone. Louis. It's, it's always, because, it's always because Harry and Louis. he was quite and physically affectionate, to be fair. Like, it, if you see clips the of Irish them together... One? No, Niall's oh. the Irish one. Oh. So, Louis I it was and Harry... Harry and the Irish one. No. Oh... It was always... Is Louis the one that said, if you don't get your hands off me? No, that's Liam. Liam. Uh, L- Louis is the one that, like, owned a football team for a bit um, and played for the football team um, <laughs> where his shirt number was 1D, which was really funny. Is that funny. allowed? Yeah. 
Was it not just 10 it was and 10. they spell it wrong? It, it was yeah. 10 and they made the zero they look like weird. a D. Yeah. Um, like, in the dryer. Exactly. Um, but yeah, no. Nothing on a One Direction reunion uh, on Google. Uh, so we will go back to this one. But yeah. Oh, we've pulled up that. Didn't mean to do that. Oh, it doesn't matter because they can't see it anyway. Don't matter. Um, but yeah, it. I think that's the most accurate representation. Saying take that on one direction of the same band, it's basically fairly accurate. Yeah. Um, in terms of what would happen if McFly broke up, they kind of did break up, unofficially, but they didn't do anything for ten years. Ah. Uh, so. Did you struggle? Nah, because it was. I still had all of their other CDs and stuff. What if they officially were like, we've fallen out? They did, like, over that time, they've come out and said that they did massively fall out. Oh, okay. Because, like, they went to family therapy as the four four (laughs) members of Can you imagine being their therapist? That's so funny. They went to family therapy. um, Isn't it because one of them was, like, addicted to drugs? No, it wasn't even just that. Like, he'd been in and out of rehab for, like, the whole time that they were together. Oh, okay. Um, And then he did... Um, I'm a celebrity, get me out of here. Mm. Won it. On that, he got a letter from Tom, uh, who is like his best mate in the band. Um, and then he went and did more rehab after that, I'm pretty sure. And then got another letter from Tom whilst there. And then after that, they just like, or a not. Letter. Yeah, a letter. Why? What? Because that's just part of I'm a celeb and therapy. Is you get letters from loved ones <laughs> right, okay, going, okay. I love you, blah, 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 oh, blah, blah. Okay. Then Tom. That's how they do interventions yeah, as well. Tom and Dougie did um, therapy together, just the two of them. And then they went, this would be really healthy to do as the four of us. Is it Dougie that was in rehab? Yeah, Dougie was in rehab. Um, like. And Dougie wears dungarees. Yes, well done. Uh, Sorry, I'm reeling at the idea of a therapist, like having this band come in and being like. Okay, <laughs> just, um, we're we're not actually a family, but we are around yeah. each other so much. <laughs> we may as well have family therapy instead. I mean, they used to live with each other. Oh, that's too much. When they when they and started isn't one out, one of them like way younger than the others. Yeah, Dougie. Yeah, so he'd be the child. Yeah, he he was always the younger we brother. We raised this Why man. Why are mum and dad <laughs> arguing so much? I think it wasn't till <laughs> off the top of my head, it wasn't till album three that they could actually go out to the pub with him. That wow. makes me. That's so yeah. strange. Um, but yeah, off the got, top of my head, that is the pub like, near where I live. He was opened, like, like a week after my birthday. Nice. He was like um, sixteen when the first album came out. I want to say that's crazy. Um, wow. That'd be illegal now. <laughs> Wait, no, not illegal. Just Depends probably on wouldn't when. happen. Yeah, uh, I mean Paramore's. Um, but they'd have to be like Haley Williams, highly vetted. The other band members. Yeah, well, yeah, no, yeah. it depends on their relation to each other, I suppose. Yeah, like yeah, family yeah. members. It's a bit different. Yeah, but wasn't um, Paramore's Haley Williams quite young? Quite young as well when Paramore began. Probably. Um. um so it does happen is, still. Uh, like when they were when they were starting out, young bands were a big thing. Like nowadays, because anyone can be a musician if if they want to. Um, it's a lot less of a thing to be like, oh yeah, this 16-year-old is famous now, Where when you can just wait a few years, let a 20-year-old do it themselves, I mean, and then blow that uh, 20-year-old up. X-Pax to Italy, Monoskin, they were 16 yeah. to 18, I think. And I think with home virality as well, like going yeah. viral on, on TikTok. TikTok and or, stuff, yeah. It used to be YouTubers with ukuleles or guitars just yeah, playing away to Justin themselves. Bieber. yeah. But now it's, oh, I made a two-minute TikTok video of me singing and it's blown up and gone yeah. ridiculously viral. What I find really annoying about modern music sort of discourse... Did is you make the, the hit sum, song of the summer? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, what I find oh, really annoying the, about the, it yes. <laughs> is um, the term industry plant. Yeah. I hate it so much because it just doesn't make sense if you look at music's history there have been industry plants technically busted and mcfly would count as industry plants by modern standards because it literally just means a band that had 
industry backing yeah, but they are quite before like going big. Formulated. I think it also depends on like how in you the put way One Direction like... is an industry plant. Yeah. JLS is an industry plant. Like The thing is, most people are more annoyed, not so much in terms of like um, pop stars. I see lots of this rage coming out about... Um, there was like these three women who were singing um, in like more alternative rock style, and people were like they're an industry plant, and I'm like, so, and like, mm. never mind the, uh, never mind the, I don't know if I can say their name on air. Hold on, we'll we'll all mute for a moment, and you'll <laughs> tell us the name. And, like, I'm sure that's are, fine. But they were considered an industry plant anyway, yeah. and. For reference, we're talking about sex pistols. Yeah. yeah, but lots of people <laughs> consider them an industry plant because of the way that it's performatively punk. Yeah. And this idea of what an industry plant is in terms of, oh, we're trying to make a point about punk music is a lot different to an actual punk artist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, that I would consider an industry plant. But when it's like, oh, uh, the band has been formulated, I'm like, how do you think they met? <laughs> like, yeah, that's how every One Direction band were been... put together yeah. to yeah, perform. Yeah, majorly, yeah. Like, the, the way weren't so little mix and like, lots of these yeah, other yeah like Monoskin fans busted. their drummer on Facebook not Facebook Facebook Marketplace, Marketplace. But on Facebook yeah and um, Pentatonix met on Facebook and YouTube yeah yeah like busted I think met partially in schools yeah and Monoskin just was generally Thomas and in the they they set up in like they set up auditions yeah. for a band and then Tom was in school with Matt. And then joined Busted, left Busted, stayed signed to the record label, and then met Danny, and then they auditioned for a drummer and a bassist. Yeah, so and that's how so McFly was Monoskin formed. was Thomas and Vic were at mm. school together. They had a singer, and then they auditioned Damiano, and then they were like, "Okay, we like him better." Yeah, but they originally turned him down because apparently he had too much of a poppy voice. And then they went on like. Uh, musicians in the area on yeah. Facebook and like looked for a drummer and then they got Ethan. Yeah, like it's like what at what stage? What is the line between plant and just they people. wanted all of the members? That'd yeah. be like saying your friendships are plant because you met at university and not on a random night out. I can't comprehend yeah. this argument, but it's it is happening a lot online and it's yeah. absolutely baffling to me. I see nothing wrong with an industry plant as long as they're not going we weren't formed that way like if they're honest if about it it's good music it doesn't matter yeah that's the thing like people One Direction it... are quite upfront about the fact that yeah. they were put together well it's because there's not really a way of hiding it that's like... the thing with like Nepo Babies is like if they're bad at acting and they're in the film yeah. because they're related like, to someone yeah actor, then that's fair enough but if they're good at acting yeah then why is it why is it a problem why is it like, an issue like Maya Hawke is one of the like she is the daughter of two of the best actors of their generation, Ethan Hawke and Uma Thurman. Um, (laughs) Morph's got um, a DVD of him growing up and in the background it's like Uma Thurman. Do you mean Barbara Streisand? Oh, Barbara Streisand. Awful. I do mean Barbara Um, Streisand. Oh dear. That's shocking. (laughs) But, um, like, but she's a really good actress and therefore, like, you should just allow it, you know? If, yeah, if they're a decent she's, actress in like, their own right. Like, people always say that about Billie Eilish. Y- like, her y- her parents. Yeah. Like, new people and stuff yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, but, but like, she's, you could her argue, music's good. You, you she's know, also been singing since she was 12. Yeah. Like, that's clearly a yeah. hobbit, a hobby that's like... <laughs> a hobbit. She is a hobbit. <laughs> I'm so tired. It's clearly a hobby that she's, like, built on and, like, she was of the generation... Because she's younger than me. So, like, she is part of the generation that had YouTube available. So I mean, she yeah. posted her yeah. videos and, like, it built up and everything. And I'm like, that is that makes sense. That's how the YouTubers before us got famous is... Yeah. I think oh, she's, I- like, one year older than me. Mm. I think she's 21... Something like 22. that. 22. She's... My age or something. Yeah. Are we doing a Google? Yeah. How old is she? I'm pretty sure she's my age. Billie Eilish, 22. Yeah. Yeah. So she's. Yeah. Her birthday is after mine, though. That'd be why. And mine. By a month and four days. By just under a month. Um, a year and a half. Oh my god. Yeah. Ish, a year and five Am I months. the oldest person sat in this room? Yes, you are. Oh. I'm April 2003. That's disgusting. <laughs> I only just turned My brother's 21. early 2004. Like, oh my God. I <laughs> turned 21 two weeks ago tomorrow. 
it's I one feel of the most... really ill now. I don't like that at all. I really struggle when IDing people at work. Because you look like you get their ID, and sometimes it like the year just starts with nineteen, and you're like, yeah. and you're like, yeah, you're good. Or it goes like, and I, my brain will happily go up to two thousand and four now. It'll go two thousand four. Yes, they're old enough. But as soon as it hits two thousand five, two thousand six, mm-hmm. I go, hold on, are they old enough? But I was, sad. but, I, but yeah. I think up to two thousand six is still good. I was, as in he's, he's old enough to get I think I that. always think of 2006 as being like 10 years old yeah I think of 2003 being quite young <laughs> okay. like my brother is 2004 <laughs> yeah so he, in my brain he's still 18 he's not he turns like 20, 20 soon I'm like but I remember being in Weatherspoons and watching it being like you know how if you use yeah, the yeah, app it's yeah, like it comes up. those of you before yeah. but it must be born on or before the day watching that creep close and close to my yeah, brother's yeah, birthday yeah. when he was turning 18 literally made me feel <laughs> hell yeah. and I it's like no you're I saw someone I taught to ring in Spoons the other day and I'm like oh yeah you're 18 now and that was weird yeah yeah it's weirder when you pass someone uh, like who you used to work with and you're like I don't think you're 18 yet and you leave a pub while they're going in and it's like mm, my no. you should be being ID'd yeah. 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 my mum has to have a conversation when she has like um, younger teachers because she's a, a head of English yeah um, when she gets like younger teachers that are like t- in their 20s yeah, yeah they've just um, finished their she's like like after a few years she has to go okay well after two years she has to go okay People that you have taught are now 18. They will be in clubs. You need to be careful. Yeah. And they're like, oh, whoa. We had, at high school, we had a PE teacher who, not knowingly, got off with a student <gasps> at a club. Because it was a year 13 student, so she was old enough to be in the club. Yeah. It wasn't like... Um, it's still super awkward. Ooh. But he wasn't aware that she was a student at the school. I think she was aware that he was one of the teachers oh. and he was like he was one of the he was brand new to the school yeah because that's the thing um, is you he was quite when young. you're 21 so yeah, you exactly. start teaching when you're 21 like you're I th- 23 by the time I want to say he was 23 PCSA students like, that's super are in the clubs that's uh, like it wasn't that like, he'd, uncomfortable yeah. to think about it if wasn't that he's taught her, by the way six form. Mm. it was just they were both at the same school she was yeah. a student he was but like if you go to a school with like, a sixth form and you're 21 like there's already kids that are 18 yeah, yeah. I mean I turned 18 like fairly early into the year because I'm November so yeah. academically speaking yeah, yeah, yeah. I end up quite old in the year but I I think that like being ID'd and stuff's really weird I can't imagine teaching secondary school children I mean I've run into teachers that used to teach me in pubs before yeah um, I ran into what would have been my primary school math teacher for year six <laughs> Um, I I don't feel the need to name him. Though my family who knows know. Yeah. He ironically was also locally a really big deal in one of the local football teams. Huh. But you know, and so he you- taught me maths. I ran into him in a pub. And he was like, "Oh my god, how are you doing? You must be like finishing this year of uni now. How is that?" And oh I'm my like, god. <laughs> and I was just stood there like, oh, "Don't talk to me. Like you're still like yeah. Mister." Yeah. And I don't know if you've seen any of your teachers from school. Like now you're older, but my brain still goes to. Oh, your miss or Mister yeah. surname? Like <laughs> there I is... can't. And like, you can call me this. I'm like, no. Yeah. You will I don't forever think I will. be. My uh... year six teacher was a family friend. Oh, God. But I don't know. I actually know her first name, but I knew her son. <laughs> you know his first name. Uh, I can't remember. Yeah, I wasn't going to say that. On air, just name who he <laughs> Mrs. is. Mrs. Herbert. <laughs> That's but, like, great. Yeah, when we went, when we went back, like, because we used to go to the firework display. Uh, even like when I was in secondary school I'd go to my um, junior school firework display mm. and like that was the only time that I ever saw my friends from junior school because I went to a different secondary school um, and yeah that was always weird like seeing the teachers and like they would see you like once a year and you'd be a year older every time so mm. it was really weird for them I imagine for some teachers it is quite strange to be like ah yes this is someone like I imagine it's been quite weird for teachers that are still at my primary school who obviously I have you know left years and years ago now um getting my younger cousin come through the school my yeah with the same um, surname as me and then being like oh it's another one my mom sometimes (laughs) gets um kids of parent like kids where she's taught their parents oh gosh um usually that means that the parents had the kid at like 17 or 18 
um, because she's not been at the school she's at since I was like she's been there since I was in year six mm. um, so not since she started teaching um, but sometimes she gets like where she's taught the parent at her first school and then, and then the, their children have in come the same, through it's in the same area yeah um because she used to work at the one that's like behind our house and now she works at one like please don't road. dox your mum <laughs> I know I'm trying to <laughs> please don't dox your poor mum or, also, or name if... the school that she works at for her sake don't yeah. do it that's I what I mean it's like I could say the names but wouldn't mean anything anyway yeah I can't I can't imagine being a teacher for like all of these like I'm yeah. just I can't stand interacting with people my own age I can't imagine teaching children yeah. everything about I that I always think stressful. that like 14 15 year olds are mean like they're just mean yeah, they i would not be able to stand in front of a group of them because i, I still like cross the street when i see like pre-teens like i'm like no yeah. stay like every security i would insecurity i would feel like they would just pick out and then go in the playground and just laugh at me for it yeah pretty much um, that's what i'm do. just gonna interject here saying we've it's gone an clear. hour over the time <laughs> we were meant to be on for <laughs> oh my God. so yeah. we're gonna wrap this all up um, thank you everyone for listening uh, my name is God Owen God help you my name's Ethan my name's Eddie nice one uh, you've been listening to Film Talk which has very much gone into food and <laughs> film, teacher talk film, food, life, you were listening music. to Film Talk an hour ago yeah. yeah well no two hours ago you were listening to Film Talk <laughs> and that was then mostly me ranting ba- basically <laughs> ended at that point uh, thank you for tuning in to the radio or onto the stream hello I'm pretty sure we haven't played a single song in the last hour that's how long we've been talking no, for. No, because we Oops. were going to play one, and then we started yeah. talking Yeah, we got distracted by boy bands. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, uh, we are going to jump into, of course, as per usual, McFly. Um, <laughs> we've got yeah. two McFly songs, two busted songs, a Coldplay song, followed by JLS, followed by another Coldplay song, and then The Killers. Um, that's a big old list of... Are they, are they the ones that goes... Um, are, mis- you, are you excited to be here? And he goes, clearly not as excited as you are. No? Oh. The ki- what? The killers are the I'll ones who the do video. Mr. Brightside. I don't know. Okay, good. Anyway, that is the end of our show uh, that was meant to finish an hour ago. <laughs> ah, that's fine. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is also the end of the stream. Bye-bye, everyone at home. Uh, here is Love is Easy by McFly. Bye. 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 Bye.